Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Mike Nelson. You caught us at kind of a weird time. See, we're being dragged back through this wormhole by Pearl Forrester and her minions. We don't know where we're going to end up. End of wormhole in sight. Prepare for rapid deceleration. Oh, oh. 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 Come on, Mike. Where'd you learn that little number from Shatner? <laughs> what? I just, just fell down. Over dramatic. Hey, a planet. Oh, great. Yeah, some new whacked out world. You know, Damn it, I'm just not in the mood this time. But it's, it looks like Earth. Oh, but it's going to be some weirdo parallel universe Earth yeah. where the only sentient beings are zucchinis, <laughs> right? Huh? No, all data indicates that it is, in fact, our Earth. Ah, yeah, sure, but it's like a jillion years in the future and yeah. super intelligent koala bears rule the planet, right? You know, that'd be kind of cute, actually. Uh, little grow girl. up, Mike. No, it's our Earth. In the exact time we left it so long ago. Hooray! I guess. We'll be right back. Our own time? Yeah. Cool. We can see Ethan Hawke movies again. Yay! Yay! Yes. Maybe not. I don't well, know. That's, that's not a good thing. Is it? No, no, that's bad. Giant dogs are probably running the Department of Transportation. Oh. And hey, I look, fellas. Pearl's calling. Yeah, sure, right. It's probably a turnip headed Pearl from the eighth dimension I with tentacles. Give me the rest now, Tom. That's enough. Come in, Mrs. F. Mike, robots, cool place, huh? I don't know where we are. All I know. Oh, is that we Marty, said, the rupture! Oh. Bubbo, don't play with my luggage. Set it down. Roger. Oh, oh, oh. I somehow feel connected to this place, Mike, as if I have been drawn here by forces greater than myself. Hey, shut up! I beg your pardon. Yeah, don't. Do that! And stop with the whispery hissing. You sound like a Brian Eno record. Well, it's not me, Pearl. I'm sensing the presence of several disembodied souls wandering these dark halls in search of Circe's, an end to their endless night. A howl of quiet desperation towards an indifferent universe. Nepenthe! Nepenthe! You are so gay. I could be wrong. I don't know.
have never played before. Did I miss it? Rock and roll! Hey! Mama, put a suck in it! Okay. Mike, robot pals, in all my travels throughout this vast cosmos, never have I felt so drawn to a place. It is as if I have come home. I know now where I am. My ancestral homeland, Castle Forester. This is so freaking cool! Bobo! Quit clowning around and bring my lab equipment. All of it! Nelson, get into that theater. I've got things to do. Brain pole! Yes, madam. Dude, oh, sorry. Send them a movie. Ah. It was something hurtful. Yeah. It was something lancinating. Right. Searing. Ah. Excruciating. Yeah, okay, then. <laughs> oh, something English. Ah, perfect. Mike and little sidekick pals, your movie this week is a tepid little serving of British cuisine called The Projected Man. It's quite, quite bad. <laughs> Sorry. Louie Luai? Oh, mama. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And off on an odyssey, your class ring goes. Projected from here to another reality, living a new life. Yeah, really. I, you, you really transported it. You, I mean, it's not just, you know, gone. Oh, like Servo and I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we just threw this projector together, buddy. Hey, Come on. Uh, what you got in your hand there, Mike? Oh, oh no, not this. This is my St. Blaise medal. My grandma gave it to me. It protects me from all ailments of the throat. And it will continue to protect your throat, only it will be doing it someplace else. Exactly. Now let's give it a shot. Well, okay, if you're sure. Slap it down. Again, transported molecule for molecule, um, someplace else. Right. Okay, where? Oh, around. Yeah. Now, Mike, have you got anything else we could project, please? Uh, I don't think. Oh, well, you know what? I do have these, uh... These love letters from Denise. Ah, good, good, yeah. good. She uh, she wrote all of these right be right. Throw them down. down. Right before she uh, right. before she died. Right before she died. Come on, throw them down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there they go. Hmm. You know what? Uh, if I didn't know better, I think you guys were just burning the things that mean the most to me and thinking it was funny. <laughs> oh, God. You know, though, I can see where you'd think that, Mike. I want you to know it's patently untrue. Yeah, what he said. Now, what else you got? <laughs> I'm fresh out. You got. Oh, you know what? I do have uh, one more thing that may oh, serve your purpose. <laughs> All right. Wow, that one really meant a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet it did. What was it? Uh, Tom's autographed picture of Shirley Jones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No, no. Oh, Shirley. Yeah, take it easy, Tom. It's not like it's gone or something, right, Crow? <laughs> That's absolutely right, Mike. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, for fun. Huh? We have fun around here. Yep. Hey, Nel Dorado. What? 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 talking to Lemback. I'm oh. going to try to convince him to stay. Great cool. idea. It would be so much better if we can just get Lemback to stay. So cool. Yeah. Hello. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, Lembeck, uh, say, this is uh, Mike, Crow, and, and Servo, and we were just wondering if you could, uh, you know, stay a little longer. Stay. Well, I really should be going. Uh, uh, t uh, tell them there's pie, Mike. Uh, well, there's, there's pie. Yeah, and we're and... all going down to shenanigans later. Yeah, right, shenanigans. So, so uh, will you stay? Well, okay. All right! <laughs> Lemback is staying! Lemback is staying! Lemback is staying! Lem back is staying. You can't keep us Lem down, Pearl! Lemback is staying! Lemback is staying! Quiet, fool! I found the ancient family diary of the Forrester clan. It's fascinating. Ancient numbers for ancient bookies. Topaz Wallingford Thiesenstein Forrester really knew how to play the ponies. And, and here, 1,000-year-old malt liquor labels and an antediluvian form of chicken and a biscuit called Her Majesty's Fool's Hen Crackle Bread. What a rich and marvelous past. What's this? Apparently, my ancestors have always been involved in odd experiments. Amethyst Rogenta Forrester trapped a man in a cave and pushed in bad paintings of the hunt. 
Emerald Montgomery Forrester trapped a man on an island and forced him to read poorly done parchments. And, and could this be? A Venturine Salbotiford Forrester trapped a man in a tree and told him really bad sagas. It's incredible. I have a feeling I'm on to something here, Nelson. Some power, some force beyond my control. And it doesn't look good for you. <laughs> It doesn't matter, Pearl. Lembach is dead. Hello? Yeah, this is Lembach. I think I'm just gonna take off. What? Thanks, anyway. Hey, guys. Thinking of dyeing my hair orange. Whoa, 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 Mike. Stop right there. Careful. What? Stand back, what? Mike. Our experiments have given Crow the touch of death. Touch of death, yep. I mean, your experiments. Well, you know, in projectedness activity. You know. Right. All right, all right. You know, call me a skeptic, but I have my doubts that Crow has the touch of death. I oh. do so have the touch of death. He does. Why couldn't I have the touch of death? Yeah. What, because I don't have a diaper on half my face? Mm -hmm. Why don't you ever believe me? Ever. Boy. Just look what you Jeez, did. Jeez, I'm man. sorry, Crow. I, I just, uh, I was just fooling around. I, okay, you have the touch of death. I'm sorry. <sighs> uh, okay, I'm sorry too. Yeah. I'm a little tense and I overreacted, Mike. I'm sorry. Okay, shake. Oh, of course, yeah. Oops. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I forgot for a second there. Killed Mike. Yep, sure did. Are you gonna see that with your touch of death? Touch no. of death. Yep. yep. Hence the name, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Death. Death. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this is uh, darned inconvenient, Mike yeah. dying like this. Yep, yep. We're going to have to get him in to watch the movie. I mean, he can't get in there himself, yep. that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess uh, we better get a head start on it, huh? Right, right, right. Okay. Real good, then. Let's go. Okay. Heave. Heave. Oh, 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 boy, watch out. Oh, 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 watch out. Oh. Oops. Darn. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. Okay, let's give it a try. Use your legs to lift. I don't have any. Oh, right, sorry. sorry. Okay, here we go. Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! Oh, wait, 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 I forgot something. We'll be right back. It's coming. Yeah, I thought you didn't have legs. I don't. Then where'd you get footsteps? I don't quite... Good question. <laughs> Well, back to it. Okay. Eve. Oh, 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 oh boy, he's a big one. Eve. Oh, oh. Ah. Right. Okay, it's Grant Day, everyone. What do you got for me? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Mr. Nelson, let me commend your wisdom and prudence in establishing the Michael J. Nelson Foundation. And I thank you in advance for the anticipated approval of my request of $50, enabling me to complete development of a water engine. <laughs> Long a dream of humankind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, whatever. You got a demonstration for me? Oh, all oh, right, right. Sure, sure. If you could pour the distilled water in there, please. Oh, sure. There we go. Yes. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, work with me. What? Come on, come on. What? Uh, hmm. Wait, wait, hang on. Did I get distilled water or? I guess I don't know, and uh, we can't fund a project that doesn't work. I'm sorry. What? It does work, I tell you. You're being a fool for making such a hasty decision. Whoa. <laughs> so you have no interest in maintaining a cordial relationship with the Michael J. Nelson Foundation? Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. I apologize, Mr. Nelson. I respect the foundation. I I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I guess I have no choice but to fund Mr. Crow and... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need uh, $50 to... Uh, what did I put down there? Oh, yeah, $50 to buy two leaf blowers and a hat. Oh, right. well... Congratulations. Oh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I Thank come you to you with a water engine and you give this slithering fraud money for leaf blowers hey. and a hat? Ah, I'm sorry. Your process is painstaking and exemplary. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Servo, if you could excuse us, we are having a grantee's reception. Yes, of course. I'm delighted to leave. Thank you for your rejection. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's have a little wine and then view the foundation's art, shall we? Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Walt, Mike, I have reclaimed my destiny. 
As a forester, I owe it to the world to take over the world. I shall dedicate my considerable genius to this and nothing else. Well, I also do like those bus trips down to the dog track outside Omaha. It's a fun time and a real good deal. And to tell you the truth, I usually come out pretty good. I just Think have a feel for playing the, the puppies. Flight. I don't know just what. Just attack you, my buddy. Get back on. Cower, world, tremble, world, run and mule and puke and tear, world. Ready? Hurge! My cat had the kittens. I gave them away. Now I only have three kittens left. Her left. Her left, right, left. When riding her run in the park, you should always shout out on your left. Left. Oh, God. Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here. Not a lot of time to talk. You see, Crow challenged Tom Servo and I to an Andy Rooney off. No one. No one questions my ability to imitate Andy Rooney. Quiet! <laughs> time for the compulsory round. Each of you will have ten seconds to Andy Rooney. Your topic? Soup. Soup. Crow, begin. Uh, soup is funny. It's not really a meal. Nor is it really a first course. Because it's mostly made of water. I find soup to be the most watery of foods. Michael J. Nelson! Okay, uh, some soups have beans in them, and there are beans that are as watery as soaps, but they're not soups. I don't trust soups on the whole, no more than I trust stews. Tom Servo! Well, there are French soups with bread in them. I don't really understand that. To me, it's arbitrary. Whether you put bread in the soap or soap in the bread, you still have sloppy bread. Freestyle! I was I thinking was like, about it. I got so angry. They talk, I mean, they, they don't, don't really, really have to do anything to keep my heart all so long. 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 I I I suspect suspect the Period. Period. Wow. The results when we return. Results, results are funny. Results are funny. I have my choice on my one side. I don't know Trophies are being caught as a spy. I was saying, I said, boy, it is. You guys, shut up. Whoa. Jeez. Ever notice when Gypsy gets mad? Sometimes when Gypsy gets mad. Who the hell were they last one of you? Say which one. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, Pearl's calling. You ever notice sometimes when she calls, the light flashes fast, and other times it flashes slow, and other times it's kind of a slow fast. I notice a Pearl sometimes. Oh, I get it. You're impressionating Mickey Rooney. Cute. Okay, look, Nelberger, we're really busy. We're just getting moved in. I'm going to rule the world, and I do not have time to get into it right now, so just a brief overview. I'm going to rule the world. That about covers Say, it. Say, Lawgiver, what should I do with this box of liver ants? Oh, that's my box of live rats. Oh. Uh, put, put them in the basement. Live rats? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's here, it's here. Your order from Spiegel just Good. arrived. <laughs> my world domination starter kit. Lovely. Yes, contained in this box is the very means by which I, Pearl Forrester, will take ah. over the puny, whimpering world and command its inhabitants to kiss my grit. This, the red hot metal of destruction, the cold blue steel of this, uh, this, what, what is this, where the dir uh, directions? Oh, here they are. Uh, congratulations on your purchase of a doomsday machine. Some assembly required. Oh, and oh, they didn't great. send the That's just thing the, for they this didn't send the thing. thing. Oh, oh, and it says is, right here, thing here, shipped but... separately. Oh, oh. for the love of oh, oh, me. Oh, oh, rat, rat, everybody oh, rat. Oh, 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 thank you very much. Oh, 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 no oh, thing, oh, huh? Oh, oh. Cool. Cool, man. Must have been sent here by mistake. We, we gotta get rid of it. No, it's ours. Yeah. Well, the crow, it's dangerous. But we love it. Come on, Mike. It's our glowing thing. We yeah. get to keep it. Come on. <laughs> you guys. I really need that thing for my thing. You know, sometimes I feel like you guys don't want me to take over the world. Well, never mind how you've hurt me. I still want you to have your movie. 
It's called Phantom Planet. You're welcome. Bobo, if you harm a single one of God's precious creatures, so help me, I'll kill you. You know, I think I better send this back to Pearl. No, don't let her take her thing away. We'll take care of it and feed it and stuff. Sir, but whatever it is, it's very dangerous. Oh, so radioactive immediately equals bad to you. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. It's movie time. I can't believe the way you overreact sometimes, Mike. Hey, sir. Well, no, Mike. Going? Every year of my life, I grow more and more convinced that the wisest and the best is to fix our attention on the good and the beautiful. If you just take the time to look at it. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm fixing my attention on a nut goodie and a picture of Anna Nicole Smith. All oh, right. The good and the beautiful. Sure. Right. And uh, how's it going? Well, not good, Mike. I'm unconvinced that the Smith goodie combination represents the perfect balance between the good and the beautiful. Yeah, I, I see your point. What if, uh, what if I substituted a picture of Tawny Katane for oh, the good beautiful? Idea. How would that work out? Let's for try you? it out here. Hmm, no, 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 Tonio Kitane is all right, but now the good looks, well, kind of scrawny. You know? Okay, I see your point, but what if I substituted this plate of sauerbraten for the good? Uh, good and substantial. Well, let's give think? it a whirl. What do you think? Yes, 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 I think it's the perfect balance of good and beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you know what? what? Even I grow more and more convinced that the wisest and the best is to fix our attention on the good and the beautiful. Represented by a plate of sour rotten and picture of Tawny Katane. Right. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, you wouldn't want to try Tiffany Amber Thyssen and Ace Florentine, would you? Hmm, that's a little out there for me. Oh. You got the spinach and the Thyssen. A little while. I'm not sure that would work. A little while. Yeah, it's all finished. Now it's just time for the decals. So cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Wow, what are you... Oh, Pearl's calling. Ah. Uh, Mike! Pearl's calling! Where the heck is he, anyway? I don't know. I... Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to help him with something, wasn't huh. I? I don't huh. know. I can't remember. Well, I'm sure he'll cover for me. Yeah, he usually does. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to put on some flame. Cool. Maybe I was thinking of putting on a skull. Oh, yeah, yes. Double yes, F into triple Z. Z. I simply don't understand that. Z. This is like written in... Hello, toys. As you can see, our doomsday device is coming along quite nicely, and soon the world will kneel before me and I... What was that? I don't know. It, it, it sounds like... It sounds like some horrible disembodied spirit. It's getting closer. This haunted tomb of a castle has produced some ancient hellish hell spawn to, to wreak vengeance on us on for our wicked ways. I'm not ready to die. I just want to ruin the world. Is that wrong? Oh, it is among us. Oh, Pearl, oh, please. Yeah, embrace me in this moment of oblivion. Oh, oh we do. Man, am I tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm dragging a safe. I need a nap. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Ain't that the berries? I've been dragging this chain all over the dang castle. <laughs> no wonder I'm so tired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brain guy? Madam? Get the pipe wrench and then murder Bobo, won't you? Glad to. Thank you. What are you looking at? Get back into that theater, you! Yeah, then I'm gonna throw on some baby moon hubcaps and I just oh, get them. Oh man, that'll so be so. Cool. What? What, 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 what? There's Mikey's out there! Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to keep an eye on him, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, wow, man. hey Mike, better get your can in here. It's movie time! Hey, stop messing around, <laughs> Mike, come on! <laughs> Okay, not quite, but almost. Let's yeah. try it again, shall okay, we? Okay, sure. Okay, 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 <clears throat> okay, okay. Twink. Um, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, twink. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, lit. Oh. Still, we got seven notes in. That's a new record. That's pretty good. Hey, guys, what's up? 
Hey, Mike, Tom and I saw those little glass arrangement doohickeys they used to control gravity in the movie. Yeah. Sure. And we remembered we shared a true passion for water glass rim music. Oh, and we've gotten pretty darn great at it, too. Hey, Mike, you want to give it a try? It sure is challenging. No, no, no. I just embarrassed myself. Oh, oh, Come go on. on. I mean, we've practiced and all. That's why we're good. But we won't judge you too harshly. <laughs> I... Oh, okay. If you all put right, it that yeah. way, I'll give it a shot. Okay. You know, that's uh, that's about all I know. It's uh, yeah. you're right though. It's really fun. You know, later on, would you guys uh, give me some more pointers? I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, a lot later, Mike. Uh, right now, we have to uh, feed the cat. Well, 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 get a cat then feed it. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Well, let him try tackling Twinkle Twinkle Little Star sometime, huh? Yeah, let's that's try right. that, huh? One more time. Yes, yes, let's okay, do it. Okay. Um, Darn! Jeez. Yeah, that's great. Hey, thanks, Mike. Man, I wish I could do this myself. Well, hi, guys. Hi, hey, Crow. Hey, um, have you guys ever noticed how I'll see a movie, snap, lose control of myself, and decide I'm one of the characters in the movie, and then go out and dress myself up that way? I don't know if you do that any more than the rest of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I actually do, Mike. I guess I'm pretty good at hiding it. But but look at me. Apparently I've decided I'm a solarite. Huh. Yeah. And, and you know what's weird? I don't even remember doing this. And it's a very good costume. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, it is, with the eyes and the nose and all. Yeah, apparently done in a sick, psychotic, amnesiac blackout or something. And for what? Am I, am I scary at all? Look, look. Well... Well, no, you look like a clown. Well, like a fool, right? Well, like a jerk. Like a yeah. jerk, yeah. and that's my point. Apparently, I hate myself. I crave ridicule. Hit me with scorn and derisive laughter. That that makes me all tingly. Oh, hi, I'm Crow. Abuse me, please. Thank you. Tja! Boy. Huh. <sighs> what the... <sighs> you know, I, I hope it's okay that I talk about this with you guys. I... Oh, no, no, it's very pleasant. This is fun. Well, well, thanks. Thanks a lot, you guys. I actually feel a little better. I, I'm... I'm gonna go do some journaling. Yeah. Okay. You do that. Good luck. What a dipstick. Uh, let's see what Pearl's up to, shall we? Okay. Sheesh, you think Crow's an idiot? Check out Pearl World Conqueror Forester's doomsday stupid device. What a pile of. What is it with me? Am I a complete loser? I don't know, Mike. Maybe this whole taking over the world thing is dumb. Why don't you do it or something? Ah, uh, Pearl, there's a mob of agitated villagers gathered down below wielding pitchforks and torches. Uh, should I ask them up? Terrified villagers. A pack of panicked peasants oh. storming the castle. Is it possible they, they fear and despise me and wish me dead? <laughs> I am evil. I am starting to take over the world. Bobo, brain guy, prepare the boiling oil. Uh, yes, madam. <laughs> hey, you stupid kulaks. You think you can bring me down? No way, Jose. You are messing with the wrong evil despot. That's right. <laughs> we brought you a casserole. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hello. What is that? A casserole? I'll be right back. What we eat tonight? <laughs> Pearl, if it's any comfort at all, please know that I hate you and fear you and despise you and wish you dead. Oh, thanks. But I haven't got it. Let's face facts. Anyway, thank you for the kiss. Rain guy, did you see what I just did? Girlfriend, those were your instincts. You are evil. I will rule the world. I will. Let's do another one. Oh, why not? <laughs> 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 
Uh, oh, wait, isn't Bobo down there? I, I suppose we do. You know, better not. Just... Oh, how did that happen? Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here on Satellite Love. We're... Hey, man. Oh, hey, Servo. What are you saying? I'm short, huh? What? No, I was going to ask where you've been. Oh, well, I had karate, then I swung by the gym to lift. Because I had some extra time before picking up my hot new girlfriend, Christy, who will most likely wear her thong as she clings to me in the back of my Harley. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make out in public a little. Servo, you look different. Hey, hey, you've got lifts in your hover skirt, don't hey, man, you? man, watch what you're saying there, man. <laughs> you do. You have lifts in your hover skirt. All right, that's it. Come hey, on, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. Take it easy. Whoa, whoa. Tom, I'm, I'm afraid you've got short man's disease. What? Okay, It's the tendency for height challenge males to overcompensate for a perceived lack of machismo. So what, are you saying I'm short, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that is implicit. Man. No problem, though. We just rub a little baby oh, aspirin no. on oh, your no. thumb. No. We'll be fine. No. No, you'll fine. No. 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 There. That's better. We'll be right back. Can I keep my dump chucks? We'll see, honey. Violet oh, shrimp. Little God. baby short man. We'll see. Well, how's your courageous battle with short man's disease? Oh, I'm over that. Turns out I'm not even short. <laughs> right. Huh. Well, uh, how about your face, Servo? Does your face hurt? Uh, no, why? Because it's killing me! <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, Crow. I'll have that checked right away. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I have no idea. Let's see what Pearl and them want. <sighs> Just ruin my joke, why don't you? Nice to see you, Nell Kirk. I only have a moment. I'm expecting everyone for the ball. Isn't it marvelous? Everyone, simply everyone, is invited to my ball. Except, um, let's see, except uh, Michael J. Nelson, Crow T. Robot, Gypsy, and a Tim Servo. I'm dreadfully sorry there just wasn't enough room. And this, this is my first ball. Why, the walls of this castle fairly hum with the unearthly presence of parties past. Listen. <laughs> I'm telling you, Lugiver, these can apes are flying out of here. I can barely keep up with myself. <laughs> well, anyway, this ball shall celebrate the triumphant return of a forester to this dwelling of evil. Well, that sounds great, Pearl. I uh, hope your party's a big success. When does the ball start? Um, oh, in about two and a half hours ago. Okay, I'm going to need you guys to pretend like you're part of the party. I think that will really draw in the rest of the guests. So come on, mingle. Make it look like you're having fun. <laughs> what a marvelous anecdote. On, so, yeah. now, how do you know Pearl? Ah, uh, well, she's got me trapped up here, actually. Really? Yeah. How awful for you. Say, Mike, you're going to introduce me to your purple friend here? <laughs> Don't you dare, Nelson. Oh, I say, everyone, on, everyone, baby. let's play charades in the parlor. <laughs> baby, why well, you got to go? She's <laughs> glorious. Oh, forget it. You couldn't mingle your way out of a wet paper Bang, if it was oh, perfect. Brain, love, love, brain love. guy, what? you must get ready for the ball. It, it might be gonna start soon. Well, thanks anyway, Pearl, but I'm just gonna stay in tonight. It worked! Everyone, they're here! Everyone! This way, Ortega. I invited Ortega over tonight to watch sliders in my room. We, we won't get in your way. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ortega. You look ravishing, too. Oh, right this way, you guys! This is Ortega's cousin Stacy and her boyfriend Brian. This is uh Pearl. Mm. So anyway, we won't get in your hair. Come on, you guys. Brian, how's it hanging? Yeah, I hope we won't disturb you with all the fun we'll be having. Okay, you kids, you're gonna watch a movie while Pearl has company. It's Puma Man. And no coming downstairs during Pearl's party. Oh, by the way, Pearl, if anyone else should happen to swing by, just point them back to my room. Thanks a lot. Of course. Uh, Goose, Mark and H. Jeez, I'm eating these things faster than I can turn them out. <laughs> Ooh, junior Mint. 
<laughs> oh crap. I got bean dip all over my new silk organza tool strapless dotted with oh, rock. Oh, and now we got move down. Down. What else is gonna go wrong? Come in, nanites. Hey, Spike, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna get a hair appointment with the nanites. Thinking of getting that dry look like the guy in the Puma movie. Mike, your sense of style, as always, is unerring. Go for it, you turkey. Hi, can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah, I had a hair appointment for now. Oh, hi, Mike. Are we gonna do the same as last time, or? Oh, uh, well, hi, Shelly. Uh, no offense, but, you know, last time you made my hair, like, 70 miles high. So I was wondering if any of the other stylists were available, you know, Deca or Jean Del. Oh, I see. I understand. Great, because, you know, I don't mean to... They're all busy. I just checked. It's just me. Now, what do you want? Whoa. Uh, well, if I could, uh, get the, uh, the, the dry look. If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> trouble? Why would it be any trouble? It's no trouble at all. So, you got that day off today, or do you live around here, or is it pretty nice off today, or... There, you're done the dry look. Well, uh, thanks, Shelly. I hope I didn't offend you. Ooh, so sensitive, man. Mike, I think she might have went just a little too dry. Ah, what are you talking about? I'm sure it's out. Ooh. Well, maybe she went a little heavy on the moose, but <laughs> once I shower, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll be right back. You know, if we can just redirect the river onto your head, I think we can salvage it. <sighs> so you like it? Huh. Yes. 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 Hi, guys. What's up? You oh. are the one. The gods have picked you. You are Kawatamundi, man. And it is time to don your hero's costume. Your yes. Kawatamundi look will inspire fear in the superstitious criminal mind. Okay, well, I'll give it a whirl, you know, if I've been chosen and all. Evil beware. <laughs> Kawatamundi man is born this day. <laughs> okay, I'll just put on my stuff. you got kind of a rota vest going here, it looks like. And, ooh, uh, Dr. Who scarf. Yes, and with all the attendant powers of this majestic Kawatamundi. Yes. For instance, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and for example, uh, well, um, uh, well, you can uh, shoot uh, magnetic uh, laser beams from your uh, from your nose. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. And now he is the mighty yet mysterious Kawatamundi. Uh, his powers are yours. It is your destiny. Uh, okay, well. You know what, destiny or not, you guys, I really had my heart set on those cold leftover sesame noodles, so uh, I'll be your mythical hero later, okay? But, but, but wait, don't me. you hear? Your inspiring hero's theme song is playing. Listen. Oh, and see, the gods are coming from space to tell you you must serve, or evil will triumph. Oh, wow, I see a uh, beach ball and a string and a string and a pulley, and then there's Gypsy. Hey, Gypsy. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. She's doing the will of the gods. Pay no attention to her. Uh, well, you know what? Hey, Gyps, I really am going to grab those noodles. You want to split them with me? Mm, yummy. Let's okay, go. let's go. There goes our gods. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, it would appear that he is not yet ready to accept his Kawatamundi nature. Uh, uh, yes, and the gods are yes. certainly... Uh, yes. And the gods yes. will be... Man, they're going to finish all the cold sesame noodles. No, let's go. Yeah, that's his movie sign. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to get any... Hey, look what we made, Mike. Well, that looks like a... Well, it looks for all the world like a replica of the head of Roger Whitaker. <laughs> we made it with our genuine Aztec mask. Yeah. Wow, that's great. You know, I can hear him sing right now. I love my ship out in the harbor. <laughs> I assumed you gained control of his mind and his will. Oh, yeah. well, there's no other reason I can think of to own a replica of the head of Roger Whitaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I have to ask why. Why Roger Whitaker? Why not say Barbara Felden? Felden or... Right, we thought of that. Okay, Mike, and Sting, and Chipmunk, and Senator John Warner. And Puff Daddy, yeah. and Al Checky, and Webb Pierce, and Judy Carn, and Joan Sutherland. And George Lindsay, and Barbara Bush. And people like that. And yeah. Mike, when you only have time to effectively control one person. We have other things to do, Mike. Then Roger Whitaker is the perfect choice. Take our word for it. Mm -hmm. It's who we got. Now, what do you want to do with him? Oh, me. Well, um, I, I can't think of anything at all. Oh, no. Use your imagination, man. Yeah. It's Roger Whitaker. I mean, that means song, sure, but he can probably do other things, uh -huh. you know, light typing and filing. Hey, maybe you need help with your hand wash there. No, you no, I don't. I, I, frankly, I think it's a waste of time. Oh, fine. We go to all this trouble, hand Mike Roger Whitaker, and he drops the ball. Brother, here's the wheel, here's Mike. The, uh, what do I do with this? <laughs> Well, you can just go on with your Roger Whitaker free life, you poor sap. But the next time you need to hear Durham Town, you're on your own. Good luck. Remember, though, we control Roger Whitaker. That's right. So watch your back. Yes. Roger Whitaker could be on you at any moment. There he is! Whoa! <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, wow. This time, 
Yeah, look at him run. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> In the meantime, be on the lookout for Roger Whitaker. <laughs> 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 Roger Whittaker, obey. Well, here it is. I'm officially tendering my resignation. Uh, okay. Uh, wow, looks very professional. No, stop trying to talk me out of this, Mike. I've made up my mind. Obey. Who knows? Maybe somewhere out there is a guy who's forced to watch good movies. <laughs> well, so long, fellas. It's really been a good ride. Okay, uh, we'll see you then. Roger Whittaker. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Hey, the place looks great. Hey, how are you guys? Good. You know, you know, I'm freelance now, and oh. it's really going good. Yeah. Say, any uh, any chance you have something here for me? Well, I, uh... Uh, right now, there's only part-time, and you won't get benefits. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Whoa, I'm impolite again. Man, what a stressful episode in my life that was. Ooh, I don't know how I survived. I didn't even know you left. <sighs> hey, uh, we better check on Pearl. Uh, how's the ball going, Pearl, huh? Wow. Ball schmall. Nobody came except Bobo, and he snapped his tether and joined Brain Guy and the 70 other people who just showed up. Just listen to that. How is this going to look to my ghostly ancestors? Isn't there anybody up there who can give me a break just this once? Oh, I don't believe in it. Hello, Pearl. Mellow folk sensation Roger Whitaker. How did you get here? Well, I sailed in and left my ship out in the harbor. Oh, Roger, you've saved my ancestral ball. Well, I'm glad to, for you are beautiful. Roger, join me in my evil plans. Well, I'd love to, Pearl, but tomorrow for all England, she said. Yes, perfect. You sail to England, contact all your henchmen, Glen Yarborough, Pete Seeger, the Kingston Trio, and I will assemble an army of aging folk singers, and together, wait, well, who the hell do you think you're going? But, Pearl, they're singing Asia songs in there. One more move and you're dead, Whitaker. Ha <laughs> ha, I have no fear of death It brings no sorrow. Oh, yeah? Fear this, you bearded freak. <laughs> Film called Operation Dumbo Drop. Talk about that. Snap out of it, Mike. Of Hi, everybody. Welcome. Mike tripped over my yam oh, no. collection, fell on his head. Now the poor dope across. thinks he's James Lipton, host of that Inside the Actors yeah, Studio no program on, uh, no, oh, I don't know, some no channel. Hell, I don't watch cable. Uh, then, of course, you had a small but crucial role in Harold Robbins' The Lonely Lady. The star, of course, Pia Zadora. You two became soulmates. No, no, we didn't. Stop it, Mike. You see, now he this thinks Crow is Ray Liotta, and he's trying to interview him, and it's driving Crow crazy, and, well, let's watch, shall we? Unlawful entry, of course, a brilliant turn, a breakout role for you. You used to trade soup recipes with Kurt Russell on the set. Talk about that. No, Mike, you're not well. Whoopi Goldberg told me you smell like apples, true? What? That does it, Mike. I'm getting the clown hammer. Are you really a good fella? Uh-huh. Give us the inside story on Tom Hulse's dog. Uh-huh. Joe Pesci's mother made you weep how. Sorry. You we'll be right Kevin back. You Dobson your real reason for living. Can you tell me why? Sad, really? Yes. Students, please join me in thanking Mr. William Catt. Truly, you are the greatest American hero. There he goes. <laughs> Boy, I sure hated to do that. <laughs> Guys, what? what are you dressing me as James Lipton for, you weirdos? We have to get going on our escape plan. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hey. Hey. Crow, have the nanites constructed my modular descent unit yet? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> then, since we are in high geosynchronous orbit, I will descend and jump off on some unknown location on present-day planet Earth. Uh, uh, th then, of course, you'll alert the authorities and rescue us, right? Uh, time permitting, uh, sure. Oh, Beep, that's that reasonable. We'll hey! Boy, it's really a long way down. Have not made contact with Earth yet. Over. Uh, keep going, you big dope. <laughs> Over. What was that? Over. Uh, nothing. Over. I thought you said something. Over. Uh, no. Over. But I said it was a long way down, and then you said Look, would you just drop it? Uh, over. Gee, 
Jeez, okay, all right. I'm through the atmosphere now, and I'm approaching a large structure of some sort. I am opening a hatch of some sort and am dropping the ladder in. I will enter the actual structure now, which appears to be a barn of some sort, or a, no, it's an eatery. It is an eatery. I will approach one of the patrons and attempt to gather information on my where, where uh, Brain guy? Yeah. Moving around and then I could just, ah, just get back up and watch my movie, uh, which is, uh, what again? Werewolf. Werewolf, right. Uh, Brain guy, you wouldn't want to see me back up. No. Didn't think so. I just got you know, get back up and watch my. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna scrub this one, guy. It's over. Ah, uh, yep. Get pasty butt up here now. Over. Uh, what's that? Over. Ah, uh, never mind. Movie sign. Uh, over and out. No, I, I swear. I said something about going hang it back here. Boy, that Joe Estevez is one compelling performer. He's really lighting up the screen, I tell you. He could really show his brother Martin Sheen a thing or two about acting. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad he's in this werewolf movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, which reminds me, uh, did you guys have any time to think about what I asked? You know, who would you want in your werewolf movie? Uh, sure, Mike, but uh, why don't you go first? Oh, sure. Okay, well, uh, first off, I think I would have Burt Reynolds' brother, Tim Reynolds. Ah. And, you know, if that didn't work out, I would I would go for Emilio Klugman. Sure. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, maybe as a role as a biker or something like that, I, I would go for Don Knotts' tougher brother, Spike Knotts. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Servo? Oh, thanks, Mike. Well, I played by a slightly more freestyle set of rules than you, Mike. To wit, my first choice in my werewolf movie would be one Mr. Sammy Hatch, brother of Senator Horan. Yeah. Then I'd certainly go for Michael DeBakey's brother, Jake DeBakey, mm -hmm. or Louis Pasteur's brother, Greg. Alas, no longer in this mortal coil, but a great choice for my werewolf movie. Or, um, Chip Hitler. Yeah, sure. Chip Hitler. Uh, you know, I admire your freewheeling style. It, it really opened up the possibilities. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Crow, who would you want in your werewolf movie? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know, you guys. I, I tried, but for some reason, all I could think of was Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta? Huh. Well, that's weird. I mean... Wouldn't rather have, like, Ray Liotta's brother? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm just not brother. as good at this as you guys. I, I'm really sorry. That's Ray Liotta. <sighs> Damn. Huh. Well... Despite that last awkward moment, I, I think we all really enjoyed playing Who Would You Want in Your Werewolf Movie. Yes, try it at home. <laughs> it's fun, you'll yeah. see. Goodbye. Huh. I don't know, you guys. I think Ray Liotta would make an okay werewolf. Oh, he smells like apples. Oh, right, right, right. Crying out loud. Hey, Susie, what's the matter? Yes, yeah, Susie, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I guess. Come on, Susie, you can tell us. Yeah. Gee, I don't know, girls. Well, okay, it's like this. Uh-huh. You know Steve? Uh-huh. Steve's a werewolf, but he's my guy. He's different from the rest, I don't know why. But my mother and pop, they disapprove. But no one can stop us, for it's true, Lou. Huh? Lou? Well, I had to rhyme the ah, words. Okay, oh, sure. Come on, got it, got it. Go ahead. Where, oh, Should werewolf. I've lived everywhere, wolf. Where, oh, where, where is my werewolf? Listen up, girls. Okay. Late one night, we drove in his car. To make our point, it wasn't that far. Take the Hiawatha exit left at the first stop sign. Oh, whose story is this, Carol? Sorry. <laughs> The moon was full, he pulled me close I held his paw and I touched his cold nose That means he's healthy! <laughs> but just then his hairy paws caused the wheel to slide oh. I screamed, too late, we hit a tree! He died! Gee, that's, that's too bad, bad, Susie! Where, oh, werewolf I've looked everywhere, wolf Where, oh, where, where, oh, where, oh, <laughs> well, uh, fun. Uh, it's fun to play a girl group, even uh, if it's just for a while. Yeah, just huh? a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was fun. <sighs> well, hey, say, Mike, you didn't really go out with a guy named Steve who died, did you? Or? Huh? Well, you know, there is a story. Oh, oh, it's later. We got movies later. Time. for later.
it's very simple, Mike. Just don't fall on me anymore. Well, you are so sharp and pointy. I think I'm going to need stitches. Well, pick up your feet next time, you big... Hey. Hey, Mike, there's something about you. I don't know, but suddenly you are a very, very handsome man. Really? Yeah, I can't believe I never noticed how striking you are. I mean, you are a god. Well, thank you. I just... Ah! What? Ah, what? Mike, look at your hands. Feel your head. Hmm. Well... So I have claws and a net. What's the... Hey, wait a minute. Ah, when you stupidly fell on me, some of my essence must have mingled with your essence. Ugh, don't say essence. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? I am beginning to look and feel like you. And you know what? I'm perfectly, perfectly comfortable, comfortable with, with that. that. Oh, yes, that's, that's exactly, exactly what I think. think. Oh, he's a werecrow. A werecrow. Well, it's okay. Uh, oh, tell me how you feel. Well, I feel thin. Uh -huh. uh, I have an intense love for bacon. Oh, yeah. And a sense of moral superiority over everyone I meet. Yes, perfect. You're me. Oh, this is turning out great. Oh, man, I love us. <laughs> me too. Uh, will you excuse me? I'm going to go throw up all over myself. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so what else can I expect? Well, your voice is going to change inexplicably every seven years or so. Okay, good. You'll start ordering salad spinners by the truckload from QVC. Already have. Great. Uh-oh. Oh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. <laughs> what else? Well, you'll have to hide your huge collection of tattoo magazines. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. well, you look just like me now. I am. I'm just like you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, why would you? You look great. <laughs> Here, turn around. Let me see all of you. <laughs> Heck, I'll be taking pointers from you pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, isn't it great being better than everybody else? It sure is. <laughs> oh, hi, Crow. Hi, Crow. Uh, oh, no, I'm a Mike. I'm just a werecrow. Uh, y you know, Crow here says pretty soon he's going to be taking pointers from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, Look, I uh, found some essence of Mike I had stored. Just inject a little and uh, you'll be right back to normal. Now, uh, okay, I'll uh, do it when I'm sick of being Crow. Uh, hey, uh, where'd you get it anyway? I'd rather not say. It's powerful, though. Ah. Spilled a little on me. Now I got blonde hair. Plus, I got that feeling like I'm uh, from Wisconsin. It's wow. Really ah. weird. Yeah. yeah. I think I got to go lie down. Uh -huh. Ah. Oh, well, uh, we better see what Pearl's doing. Huh. Uh, you got to hit it with your head. Oh, right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Time to watch me now. Some said it couldn't be done, but drawing inspiration from today's movie, I am ready to do what the world has been putting off for some time. Injecting the essence of a wolf into a man. <laughs> Bring me the peasant. <laughs> Now, bring me the wolf. Okay, but he's pretty vicious. Watch out for those things. I don't think I can control him. <laughs> well, you tried getting a wolf after midnight. There aren't any 24-hour wolf on that. Well, I got the peasant. Oh, like it's really hard to get a peasant around here. Geez, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a peasant. I think I did pretty good. Well, the experiment's sh shot because of Bobo. Yeah. <laughs> Should we start a We Hate Bobo Club? Let's! <gasps> I'm president! Jinx! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! I could have gotten a lot of peasants! Anyway, he is a wolf, isn't it? Oh, are you gonna fight me? Oh, don't you fight me! Look out, he's gonna eat me! Wolf, he's gonna eat me! Oh, oh, he's eating me! Oh, I'm dying! Oh, oh, it's terrible! Oh, oh, oh. This BP is dropping fast! We're losing him! The hell we are. Clear! Ooh, come on. Come on now, live. Come on. Live. More broccoli? It isn't broccoli I want. It's you. Hey, I, look at me. You know what I think? I think you knew that chicken bubble was stuffed with explosives, didn't you? Didn't you? No. Come on, answer the question, you scal. No. Ah, oh, stop lying. Oh, Crow, come uh, on. Come on, you're going to make it, buddy. Come on. <laughs> no, the sauce, it's too rich. It's, it's too thick. Oh, no. Oh, save yourself. Ah, Crow, oh, take my hand. Don't make me shoot you. Crow! And now, tonight's episode. Ha! <laughs> 
You'll pay, Nelson. You'll pay with your miserable life. <laughs> uh, uh, Tom, we're, we're back in the regular world now. How could you sleep with Amanda? What? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to check what's going on in the castle now. Ah, okay? sure, Gray, fine. <laughs> Did you stop choking me? Uh, let me hang on. I, I can't. I mean, a hot dog, sure. A hot dog is one thing. But to then place chili inside the hot dog, a tunnel of chili. Indeed it is. I mean, where do they come up with ingenious things like this? Is this that stuff is way beyond you and me, my friend. I think so. <laughs> well... I'm gonna go make us another batch. Good idea. Mm. <laughs> no, hurry back, Bobo. There's a great fight on Jerry Springer. <laughs> Observer. 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 Well, it's all too clear, isn't it? We've been knocking ourselves out, reconstituting our exploded planet, searching the entire universe for you, Observer, and then to find you here like this. Living like some gross, smelly animal thing. Oh, Observer. But, but I didn't even know you were still alive. I mean, I mean I'm still all-powerful and omniscient to know all things, but, but how was I to know, really? I mean, I made more chili dogs. Oh, <laughs> Would you like it? Oh. Who are you? Oh! oh. I know who you are. You're those really white other guys who have their brains and pants too. Only you're the mean ones. Oh, I'm gonna tell Nagiman. <laughs> Nagiman. Well, hey. observer, it certainly would be nice to have you with us as we once again made our civilization the grandest in the cosmos. But are you really even observer anymore, observer? I still have my powers, if that's what you mean. I mean. I'm... Watch, watch, watch it. Do you remember that brute who, who blew up our planet? Oh. I will blight him with something so horrible. That you just watch this. <gasps> oh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, thank you, Brain Guy. It's, yeah. Oh, it's quite nice, actually. Nice, yeah. Thanks. Ah, see, nobody wants to get a tie. Don't you see what a terrible gift that is? Ah. I'll tell you what, I'll try again. Uh, two out of three. No, oh, you're a pathetic sot, but we'll take you in this oh. and blow this place up. Come on, dummy. Oh, well. So, brain guy, you're planning to leave us. Uh, yes, just the right civilization needs me. We are not good enough for you, no, I nothing, understand. Nothing personal, really. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. No, it's nothing against you. Oh, it's fine. No, it's, just, it's just that they'll, they'll need my help blowing up the world fine. and everything. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll send you one last movie to Mike. Uh, Mike, your movie this week is called The Deadly Bees. <laughs> See, it's just that my civilization needs me, and so I have to... Oh, don't leave, great guy. I love you. Nice. It's a pet. Nice. Well, already you've spilled about a gallon of gravy on your tie. I mean, how clumsy are you, Mike? Yeah, I didn't get the gravy for so We got movie signs! Hello, Mike. Oh, hi, Crow. Uh, <clears throat> nice pantaloon. Oh, never mind that. I'm smitten with love for the fair Lady Hargrove. Who? From the movie? You mean the cigarette hag? Don't call her that. <laughs> Sorry. Go on with your story. Thank you. I've written a sonnet in her honor, classic English form, 14 lines, iambic feet. Great. Uh, what's with Curly here? Oh, me? I'm just sitting in on Crumhorn. Okay, well, rockin'. Let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> Hit it. As England's rotting springtime begs to loom, I spy thee, sitting, smoking with thy dog. I long to fill my lungs with your perfume, apt several samplings of the local grog. Effluvia, I would rather die than switch. To gaily dance my claws through smoky locks is my delight, though some would call you bad of a witch. I love thee, filter, flavor, pack, or box. I flit, for springtime happens every you, and fly to spy thy scowl in barnyard fair. Sweet pan's delight, I kiss a mole or two, as satisfying flavor fills the air. With loved black lungs, we'll from the heavens choke a silly millimeter longer of love's smoke. Thank you. Okay. I gotta go brush my teeth. See ya. D -d -d Wait, I have a canto as well. Ah, forget it. <clears throat> we'll be right back. Down, down, you rebel, down! Hey, what's wrong, huh? Ah, oh, nothing. It's a whole raisin killer bees thing got me going on my own venture here, raising wood ticks for a living. 
But now they're hungry, and I don't know what to feed them. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mike, have you seen my lice farm? Oh, never mind about that. There's something doing down on Earth. <gasps> Stay. <sighs> I am leaving with my parties. No more smelly dumb gorillas. No more yelling shrewish women. I must go. I'm departing with my kinsmen to the planet where I come from, even if it means destroying all I know. Please stay, we are your friends, though our brains are not in pants. Please stay, we'll give you jewels if you'll only take our hands. Or take my paw, can you give me? Any reason why I shouldn't up and leave you and blast your silly planet when I go? There are several million reasons. No, there's not that I can think of. There are several Don't. million reasons. Here, Here we go. Okay, well, there's me. And we've got string. And tortillas start with ham. If you stay, I fold your sheets. You fold your sheets if you just stay where you are. Given me, have totally convinced me. I really can't be going. I must stay. Hey, Crow. What you doing? Hi. Waiting. Oh. For? Oh, for Mike. Ah. Okay. I asked him where my bottle of Just For Men hair coloring was, uh -huh. and he left without a word. Oh. And so I shall await his return, for I have every faith that Mike will one day come back to me and answer the question I posed so long ago. Mike! I knew you'd come back! Hey, guys. How you doing? You know what? I thought I'd shake things up a bit. You know, think outside the box. Ship the hell out of our paradigms, huh? Uh, so you dressed in a bee costume. Good for you. Yeah. yeah, you know, just for today, I thought I'd communicate as the bees do. Um, bees communicate through movement and odor. Right. I'll just be using movement. Oh, good. Thank you. God. Whoa. Uh, oh, oh, sure. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, of course. Well, what's he saying? Yes, I have to agree with Milton Friedman. Economic freedom is an essential requisite for political freedom, yes. Did yeah. he say anything about my just for men? Uh, no, I'll let you know. Oh, Mike. Oh, my. What, what, what? This oh, has so to be about my just for men hair coloring. Oh, stirring. You, my friend, are one of the few people who can do justice to Chief Seattle's oration. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. What about my just for men hair <laughs> coloring? I'm sure he's getting to that crow. Jeez. Say, Mike, can you compare and contrast the English translation of the Mahabharata to the original Sanskrit? Ah, yes, I see. Yes, I understand. I agree. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I don't really need it. It's just, you know, I enjoy looking younger. There's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. <laughs> oh, anyway, we'll be right back. Yep. So... Bees, huh? Yep, they sure make a film. Sure do. Bees should be in every single movie. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. What the? Don't! Oh. Ah. Huh. 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 Oh, uh, Pearl's calling me. Huh. Hmm. Well, Mike, it's Armageddon. These other bleaching-faced, fey, omnipotent brain guys are battling our brain guy because he decided to stay. Once they toast him, they're going to take over the world. An idea they totally stole from me. Yield, flesh-loving traitor! I shan't! Surrender, carnally besotted fool! I shan't! Then meet your doom! Uh, no, in stereo this time, observer. Uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. Two at once! Too much! Can't handle it! Uh -huh. I need more chili dogs! 
chili dogs? What a fascinating concept. Yes, with lots of yummy, ooey-gooey cheese. Jeez, what an yes. intriguing notion. Quick, Pearl, put what? this down the laundry chute. Why do I look like your maid? Hurry, the fate of the world is oh, in balance. Hurry, the fate of the world is in balance. Right. Up, up. Um, my, my brain. <laughs> so, it comes down to you and it comes down to me, eh, Observer? To the supreme challenge of our respective neural mastery. <laughs> oh. yeah. Quick, Tomo, go along! Burn. My brain. My beautiful brain. My... So, former brain mates, for punishment, you shall walk this earth for the rest of your days as mere flesh-bound mortals. Worse yet, you will live in Wisconsin, where you will work at the Burnett County Dairy Cooperative and be raging Packers fans. Go Packers! Packers, woo! <laughs> hey, uh, you got any more smokes, man? You gotta quit bumming them. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah, laser Bobo. Heavy gone, the world saved and everything. Yes, yes, yes. We three have triumphed over evil in a way that I... Thanks, Servo. That was really great. Ah, you betcha, Crow. Stop in any time. Sure. <laughs> a kissing booth? What for? Well, I gotta come up with some capital so I can open my chain of kissing booths. Oh, well, uh, what kind of kisses do you have? Well, let's see. Uh, I've got a fall in the mouth laying at Brezhnev of kiss. That's kind of nice. Yeah. We have an unwelcome opportunistic Christmas party kiss. That's popular. How about the cigarette kiss from a woman named Vi? That's one of my favorites. No, you know, I was thinking of kind of a dry, perfunctory grandma kiss. Well, okay, but uh, no tongue. Ew. No, no, I mean, I don't have a tongue, so don't be disappointed. Okay? Oh, well, that's a good okay. thing. Come okay. on over here, honey. Mm, there you go. Mm. <laughs> That'll be $49.95, cash from your credit card. We'll be right back. Uh, you know, I don't mean to complain. That was dry and perfunctory, yeah. but it seemed more aunt-like than grandma-like. Really? Uh, Tom? Later. Practicing. Like it. Oh, come on, give someone else a crack at those lips. Ah. Whoa. Uh, may I help you? Nope. Got it all under control, thanks. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. Now, Tom, the hey, wait Whoa. a minute. What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, I'm installing uh, three handsets, uh, local switching bay for six lines, all sure. call PA, and uh, full duplex conferencing. Oh, great. Uh, I'm guessing a woman in a castle sent you up here? Yep. Woman, albino, and hairy fella. Sure. Mike Nelson, call in line two. Mike Nelson. Yes. Right here? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Nelson, good. You're there. Yeah, what can I do for you, Pearl? No, it's what you can do for me. You see, I'm setting up an all-station phone conference for now. Can you make it good? I want to get you up to speed on our new state-of-the-art phone system, which will make taking over the world easier through more efficient officing. Okay, office away. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get the others on the line. Oh. Um, yellow. Arson, Arson, Pearl, please hold for a conference call. All right. Would you... Talk to me. Office. Office. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Hello. Can, can you hear me? I'm having a little. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Are you there? Hello. 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 You know what? Hello. It's very. All I'm getting is a very hard to hear. I can't hear. Why don't you hang up? I'm in a box or something. Turn down your radio. Dial. Dial. Star six nine. Hello, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, I can barely hear you. Hello. 
Okay, orbiting doorknobs. I guess you need a lesson in how to use a simple phone. So before you start your painful movie, Space Children, I order you to watch this painful short feature, Century 21 Calling, on how simple the phone of the future is. Hello. Hello. I don't know. I can hear you. Hello. Hello. I can't hear you. Oh, boys. I have a special call for you. Oh, I love special call. Oh. Into the theater, you! Hello. 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 Movie time! time. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. doing that little, guy. Little fella from, from the, the short the short film, I think. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty, really pretty entertaining, really. Really, really neat. Pretty, pretty great. <sighs> well, yeah, I, uh, I think it's time. Yep, let's okay. go. Very nice. Yes. So, lunch? Again? <laughs> Why, sure. <laughs> Yum. Four, three, two, one. Blast off! Here we go! I'll forget. What? Oh, for. Oh, oh, man. Jack. Mike. Oh, okay, gotta be careful around. Now, remember, don't turn it on until I say, okay? What? Turn it on? No, uh, oh, no, Pearl's calling. What? No, don't turn it on. Okay! <laughs> Model rocketry. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> model rocketry. I'll show you model rocketry. Take a look at what I got. In fact, now that I think about it, does the word model make any sense at all? No! What I got going is way beyond model rockets. <laughs> I got a rocket! Go get the monkey. Yes. Sure, at this point, I'm lagging behind the other superpowers in the race to dominate space, but as soon as I launch my first monkey into space, there is going to be sun. I'm scared to go into space. Uh, we're training you. Now shut up and get in the centrifuge. Okay. See, the way I figure it, I got a monkey. Why not develop a space program around that monkey? No reason at all. Monkey in centrifuge, ma'am. Of course, I can't take all the credit. It was Brain Guy here who pointed out to me that we have a monkey. No, 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 don't be modest. You're the one who realized we have a monkey. I suppose I did. What's <laughs> this sharp thing in my side? Ow. Oh, it's, it's simply the pin that holds the passenger compartment to the centrifuge itself. I don't suppose I am. <laughs> that was fun, let's do it again. The point is, Nelson, you can just sit down because I got a space program. <laughs> Come on now, big fella. Let's take another ride. <laughs> Oh, don't turn it on! <laughs> well, movie sign, live and learn. Mike, servo, fashion means Coogan! Uh, guys, where'd you go? Oh, there you are, Jay Wiz. What do you want? Ow, what? Get up what? there. Jeez, what's the matter? Mike, servo, yeah. fashion means Coogan. It does? Oh, okay. Neat. I'm going to go finish my sandwich. Yeah, me no! too. No! What? I designed more great clothes for Jackie Coogan, and I have sketches, and you guys have to look at them. But I don't want to. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, where are the dumb things? Great. Come on, Mike, you know the drill. Pick up the cards. Stupid cards and pictures and Jackie Coogan. 
Ah! Mr. Coogan's unselfconsciously feminine robe gave me the courage to make him this tight, black, knit little number with matching clutch. Whoa. Jackie's smashing-looking short shorts were the inspiration for this German dancehall outfit with 100% cowhide riding crop. <laughs> Let's talk ah, lingerie. I don't wanna. Coogan gets coquettish in this gauzy baby doll with frilly peekaboo panty. Mm. Oh, come on, girl. I mean, okay, so Coogan wore some goofy outfits in this movie, but can't we leave him with a modicum of dignity? No! No, we can't, Mike. I'm hurting, I've got to lash out, and we're gonna see this thing through to the end. Ooh. Next card! Wow. Oh. Here's the ultra-dignified Mr. Coogan getting a teensy bit naughty in this French-cut thong singlet. Smart on the beach or poolside. He's got a lot of anger. You'd better come back later. Want to see even more of Jackie? Oh. This crocheted banana warmer should no. do the trick. No! Oh. Wow. No! Boy, that St. Matthew is a cracking good screenwriter, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. He sure is. Say, what do you know? It's that blob from the movie. The blob sent from heaven. Well, mm. he must want us to get rid of our nuclear bombs. I... He says yes. Huh. I don't think we have any nuclear bombs, Mr. Holy Blob. Uh, uh, Crow, any nuclear bombs? Oh, nary a one, Mike. Servo, you got it? Uh, no, 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 none at all. No, no nuclear bombs here. Sorry, no siree. <laughs> well, maybe one. Servo! Well, I wouldn't call it a nuclear bomb, per se. It's really more of like a neutron device, you know, when you put... What's the big deal, you guys? I mean, look, I like to cruise estate sales. I bought it at one of those. Thought it might be a good deterrent against uh, you guys someday. I mean, wow. I mean, all right, geez, I'll go to my room and get it. It's under the bed. Stupid, peace-loving blob from heaven anyway. I don't know. It's... Oh, oops, Pearl's calling, so... So, get you a beer, holy blob? Coming right up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, three, four. No. Oh, damn it, let me start again. Uh, ten, nine. You want to see some real eight, rocketry, seven, Major seven, Nelson? Six, we are sending five, 800 four, pounds of pure, three, undiluted two, monkey into orbit. One, zero, lift off. We have lift off. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. It sure is. Oh! Oh, oh dear. I was supposed to be in that, wasn't I? Oh, my. Well, you see, the thing is, uh, I forgot my three musketeers, so I got out of the capsule because all there was in the capsule was tank to eat, and I knew I'd get hungry for my chocolatey three musketeers, so I got out of the capsule in order to get my three, three musketeers, musketeers yes, right. and then I must have forgot to get back in. <laughs> Sorry, baby. That, that means no one is steering the rocket. It might start turning to... and heading straight for us. Oh, I love you, Great I love you too, Bobo. Oh, you <laughs> nice meeting you. Uh, <laughs> really, it was quite nice. Well, I'm sorry, Mike. Well, there, you just did it again. What the oh, God, Hi, what? everyone. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Servo and I are here. We're just talking. Look, I didn't mean to turn you on, and I'm really sorry. Uh, well, you know, ever since Robert Palmer introduced the concept of accidental turn-ons in his song, I didn't mean to turn you on, well, there's been a lot of involuntary on-turning around here. Hey there, guys. What's up? The crow! Oh, no! Did I just turn you on again? Yes, you know you did. Jeez. Oh, I... I am sorry. I tried not to turn you on, but uh -huh. I guess I unintentionally did. You know, let's really all try sorry. to be a little more careful about turning each other on, okay? That's sure, Mike. That's right, Mike. Yeah. And you folks at home, be a little more careful. Don't involuntarily turn anyone on, okay? We'll be yeah. right back. D uh, Mike! Uh, hey, did geez. I turn you on? I didn't mean to. Look, look at me. Turn How did I turn you on? I'm just standing here. How did I turn you on? Why are you here? No, 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 there! Oh, there, what? you did so mean to turn me on that time! 
Okay, I admit it. I turned you on on purpose, okay? Because I was upset, so I turned you on. So big deal. Well, now you just turn me on. Can't you do anything without turning people on? It's oh, just, that's I nice. can't Come believe it. You after well, you turn me on. So on I did not get your imagination. You turn me on. You turn me on. 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 You couldn't turn me on if you had a dozen naked Gerardos and Fabio in tight leather pants. Uh, where, where was I? Oh, right. I'm remodeling the Great Hall. I'm putting in a conversation pit. And the couch I had picked out for it came in early. So I need you guys to store it for me. Brain guy? Yes, madam. And no jumping on the couch. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma Pearl. Watch you guys. I'm going to do something cool. You can see my legs. You can see my legs. Wee. Grandma Pearl does not want you jumping on that couch. Get off right now. Don't! Don't squeeze those juice boxes on that couch! <laughs> <laughs> juice! Are you uh, spreading it all over everything? It's great! <laughs> oh, we can't have nice things. That's it. That is it. I am going to give you such a movie. <laughs> we don't <laughs> care! <laughs> Bobo? Huh? Brain guy? Get the movie. Oh <gasps> No! <laughs> <laughs> huh? We have ways of dealing with ne'er-do-wells who insist on jumping on our rent-to-own couches. Your movie ah! is called oh. Hot Goblin. Ah! Pearl, please, <laughs> whatever you're thinking, please don't. We, 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 we made us do it. I'm sorry, we we made us do it. Oh, 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 Say, Mike, given the incredibly depraved attitude regarding women in today's movie, I knew you'd want me to make a short film for boys and young men, teaching them how to treat the fairer sex with a proper and healthy respect. Uh, Mike. Mike! Uh, yeah, sure. Huh. So, uh, good, because I went ahead and did it anyway, and hopefully it'll help just a little. Let's watch. Ah, uh, women. Women, 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 women. <laughs> For you young fellows, fresh on the cusp of a blooming manhood, the questions abound. What are women like? What do women want? How should I treat a woman? Perhaps the thorniest problem facing any young man is finding a woman in the first place. It turns out to be nearly impossible. This reporter spent countless hours searching for a woman, like these pictured here, to no avail. The nearest we came during a tense stakeout was this fellow, who experts believe is not a woman. We begin to wonder, where are all the women? The overheated references in poetry, the images that dominate our media. Is it all an elaborate fraud? This grainy photograph is the only direct evidence we have of a woman in her natural environment. The longer hair, the gentle and nurturing demeanor are typical of how witnesses describe their supposed encounters with women. This footprint, while possibly the work of jokesters, is another piece of the puzzle. And it is hard to discount this man's terrifying story. And then, uh, this woman, well, I think it was a woman, she, uh, married me. Did you have any children, sir? I don't remember. Someday, perhaps, an actual woman will emerge. And they will no longer exist, only in the realm of myth. And maybe. Thank you. <sighs> Oh, um, yeah, so, anyway, Mike, in conclusion, um, in the off chance that you do run into a woman, uh, you know, treat her with respect and stuff. Okay. You yeah. know, Crow, you do know women, though. What about Pearl? Okay, so one woman exists. That means all women exist? Uh, we'll be right back. Name me one other woman. Go well, ahead. Yuck. Come on. 
Hey, what up there, Russell Crowe? Oh, I've set up a crisis hotline for people who've been traumatized by watching this film. Oh. Hey, hey. A customer. <laughs> people in robots who've had to watch the movie Hobgoblin's Crisis Hotline. Hello. Oh, oh, yes. Hello. Uh, I am in a deep crisis, which is very, very deep. And I need to know you won't hang up on me like all those other crisis hotlines. Ah, have no fear. <laughs> I can handle anything. Um, it is related to watching the movie Hobgoblins, right? Oh, 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 yes, of course it relates to watching the movie Hop Goblins. That's why I called it. Well, anyway, one day I was watching the movie Hop Goblins one day when I realized that while watching the movie Hop Goblins that I was in love with a woman very close to me. A, a woman not of my species. Ugh, 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 ugh. that is disgusting. Ugh, I need a shower now. Yuck. Oh, wait, don't hang up. I need her, uh, though she can be very mean to me. I'm obsessed with her. I want her in every way, uh, emotionally, spiritually, physically. <laughs> Yuck, stop telling me this, you freak. I'm going to be sick all over the place. Hang up. Um, uh, I have another call. Uh, see ya. Hang up. No, I'll die without her. She's a chimpanzee and her name is Emily. And I don't care if it would... Hello? Ah, rats, another hang up. Uh, let's see who's next on the list. Butterball, turkey, hotline. Oh, boy. I mean, why do these people even call if they have nothing but twisted, perverted filth on their minds? I think it must be your radiant compassion that draws them. <laughs> Probably <laughs> right, actually. Movie time! <laughs> boy, that sure is a bad movie, won't you? It sure is, you know. Say, fellas. Here's a little song about that movie, Hobgoblins. Are you kidding me? Then let's go. Hobgoblins, Hobgoblins, what do you do with those Hobgoblins? They're over here, they're over there, those darn Hobgoblins are everywhere. Woo! Pinky, Rain, take a look at this. Something is different. As we sing the Hobgoblin song today. I don't know, sort of flat and lifeless. Uh, they're cardboard cutouts. Exactly, like they're cardboard cutouts. I don't know, I think they're rocking today. No, I actually—I mean they actually are cardboard cutouts. Well, they're not that bad. You kidding? They're on fire. Now, listen, you idiots. Oh. And her, you of course do. Uh, it's a fake bike and fake robots made of cardboard. Look. Look out, here comes one now. Watch out now, you little doodad. Something's sure going to happen. Well, I think we all learned a big lesson about hobgoblins today. Stupid thing. Oh, boy. Hobgoblins. Hobgoblins. What do you do? Run, run! You get back into that theater now, son of a... Oh, try to pull the wool over my eyes, indeed. Remember, I'm watching you, my friend. Nothing gets by me, nothing! Here's a nice fat one for you. Oh, thank you. You bet. <laughs> Good work, Servo. Nice job. Hey, Clamp. Hey there, Mike. You know how we really didn't care for that stupid movie today? Yeah. Well, by using our time machine, I went back to the early 80s, and I took care of our little Rick Sloan problem, if you know what I mean. What? <laughs> Servo, you don't, you don't mean you could... Yeah, I sure did, Mike. I hunted down Rick Sloan, and I kicked him, Mike, right in his shin. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. It's gruesome, I know, but I had to take matters into my own hands. Well, I thought, you'd, you know, you'd gone back and terminated him, you know. What do you mean, terminate? Terminate? What are you, are you nuts? I hate guns. I hate them. How could you ever get that idea? Man, I don't know. Well, anyway, by going back and giving our Mr. Sloan a firm, swift blow to the shin, I have changed the course of events, and Hobgoblins is no more. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys. Huh? I, I'm doing my uh, biography of Rick Sloan here, doing huh? my research, huh? and listen to this. Huh? Rick Sloan says the inspiration for his film Hobgoblins is like a stout red automaton kicking him in the shins. Stout? Stout? He says stout? That bastard, I'm going back to kill him. Uh, no, you, know, you know, I gotta put a child lock on our time machine. Good idea. Mike, Servo, Art, 
I took away the couch and brought it back down here. You are all old enough to be taking some responsibility for some of our things. Couches do not grow on trees. Hey, can I have some of your Welch's grape juice? Sure, if I can have some of that seal coach. You bet. <laughs> there was a nice settee I was thinking of sending up there. there. There was a particular office chair I know you would have enjoyed, Crow. But I don't know that I can ever trust you with any home furnishings ever again. Bobo, brain guy, who wants candy? Oh, I do. I do. Me. I don't mean to yell. I just really want everyone to stay off the couch. Hi everyone, welcome to the satellite alone. Here we come, the wassailing, etc. etc. Et Give us our wassail if you please, sir. Uh, wassail? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm fresh out of wassail. Oh, well, you're no fun. Yeah. Well, come on, it's July. I know, but where's the challenge in wassailing at Christmas? The place is lousy with wassail. Take two steps and BAM! You smash your toe on tons of the lousy stuff! Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is wassail, anyway? Oh, um, uh, well, uh... It's, you know, it's, uh... I don't know, I think it's an anti-inflammatory or something. Well, the point is, if you can't provide wassail for we humble, tattered minstrels, you gotta turn over your debit card and PIN number immediately. Yeah, it's a custom that goes back centuries. Yep. You made that up. No, no. Uh, uh, listen to the song. <clears throat> If the person who you sing to can provide the wassail, you are entitled to his debit card and pin number. Love and joy come to you unless you can provide the wassail. Then severe financial penalties shall come to you. Then severe financial penalties to you. Okay, that's the Smurf brooch with the diamond L's, the porcelain cat, and I think I'd like to order a big... Hold on, hold on. I have wassail. I have wassail. Hold on there, Nelson. Canned wassail? No way, my friend. Oh, yeah. I checked the lyrics to your dumb little song, and it doesn't say anything about canned wassail. Wait, let me see that there. It's a party of the first... Damn, he's right! Nelson, you found a loophole, you rat. Hold everything. The castle's calling, and something's wrong. You bet there's something wrong. The lawgiver went on vacation and left us with a babysitter. Look! Oh. Why won't you play with the blocks? I don't want to play with blocks. It's insulting. I have an infinite intellect. I think you're a little crabby, and you might need a timeout to think about it. No, I can't stand timeouts. The, the, the silence, the desolation. Okay, are you going to play nice with the blocks? All right, Steffi. You win this time. You see, it's horrible. And she calls me fluffy kids and treats me like an animal. Hey, did you chew this? Um, uh, yes. No, <laughs> no chew. No. God, man, there's hair everywhere. Please don't treat me like this. I'm a distinguished professor of anthropology from a future where apes evolved from men. No chew, <laughs> no. Go lie down. Oh, OK. <laughs> Okay, which one of you is Mike? Uh, that, that'd be me. Hi. Okay, and which one of you is Servo, and which one of you is Cow? Um, I'm Servo. And I'm Cow. Crow. What? Yeah, you're Crow. Yeah, I know. Well, of course I'm Crow. I just said I'm Crow, you great feeb. Well, boy. Never mind. He's Crow. Well, now it says here I'm supposed to send you a movie, right? Um, excuse me, Steffi. Yes, Brian. Uh, no, it's brain. I mean brain guy. I mean observer. Oh, never mind. I'm finished, and I'm going to my room to commune with the gossip and narthics of the plangent dimension. Well, it's four. It says you take your fruit snack at four. I don't need to take my fruit snack. But I will, because I want to. Thank you. Okay, guys, your movie is called The Touch of Satan. Ugh. And you, huh? you need another tick bath. <laughs> Enjoy the great taste of wassail. Mm. In cans. Hey, that's ours. Come on, you big lush. Don't get movie signed. We got movie signed. No. Oh, 
working for the weekend. Whoa! Ooh. Holy cow! Ooh. What's up, Mike? Decided to start a walnut ranch like that guy in the film there? Man, is that hard work. Hey, I hear you. Man, I barely got started. And look at me. Yeah, you look like hell. Oh, yeah, I know. And I was just leafing through the catalogs. How do you account for that? Well, it's darn hard work, my friend. Oh, man, you said it. Oh, I'm not going to make fun of walnut ranchers anymore, I'll tell you that. No. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, Mike. You've been walnut ranching or something? Yeah, look at me. I'm just ragged. Yeah, well, I could have told you that, man. <laughs> me? I've been pecan farming. It's like rolling off a log. Just made my first million, too. <laughs> Haven't even grown a single pecan. Ah, we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, 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 Mike, could you back off? You smell like canned tamales. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, here we go. Uh, anything? Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Nope, nope, I'm fine, Mike. I guess all we can do is add more rocks. Okay. You know, I'm worried. If I wasn't a witch, I'd be dead by now, or at least shrieking out a confession or raining down curses on my tormentors. But instead, hey, I'm great. I couldn't be better. Okay. Anything. Oh, no, did you actually add one? No, I'm fine. Very comfortable, in fact. I can't believe this. Yeah, Crow, what I don't get is why do you assume you're a witch in the first place? Well, I don't really assume it, Mike, but I guess it's always been in the back of my mind, you know? Yeah, well, you know, Crow, the, the reason you can survive all of this is because of your durable molybdenum frame. Well, that's nice of you to say, Mike, but let's face it, I'm a witch. You might as well burn me at the stake. <laughs> oh, Crow, you're not a witch. But, you know, it is hard for me to prove a negative, you know? I mm. can't really prove you're not a frog, for instance. <gasps> Mike, this is weird. Oh, what? Are you feeling some pain? Is it working? No, how do you know I was thinking I might be a frog? Did I tell you that? No, I mean, I just used it as an example. Ribbit. I... I'm a frog! Ribbit! I'm a frog! Get these rocks off me! I can't stand this kind of weight! I'm a tiny frog! No, you're not! Frog. Hey, you guys, we got movies time! Oh, Ribbit. well, help me with these rocks! Okay, oh. Whoa. You know what this means? I'm not a witch! I'm a frog! Yeah. You, Servo, stop it! What are you doing, Servo? For heaven's sake! Hi, Mike. What? But Grandma, how did Grandma stop? Now I told you no. Jeez, I'm sorry, Mike. Wait, wait a minute. This is your grandma? It sure is, Mike. Isn't she spry? When did you get a grandma? I, I have two grandmas, Mike. I always have. The other one doesn't kill people, though. This one does. That's how I tell them apart. Now, grandma down, down, grandma. Uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, couldn't you get her a TV or something? Hold on a second. What, what's that, grandma? Big? Slow? Tempting target? <laughs> Believe me, I know. But you just can't, okay? <laughs> well, I tell you what, Mike. I'm just going to leave you two alone to start all over with each other, all right? No, Servo, don't. Oh, she's full of stories, Mike. Have a good time. <laughs> hey, hey, get away from me. What? We'll be right back. <laughs> back off, lady. What? What? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What? Oh, hey, lady, stop it, stop it, stop it. Now back, down, down, down. <laughs> Sweet deal. Hey, hey, Mike, I just sold my soul to Satan. Oh, you did? Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to have lots of unfathomable worldly power real soon. Yeah, I thought I'd give you the heads up on that. Oh, that's real thoughtful of you. Thanks, girl. Yep, got a contract right here from Satan. Let me see that. Shall take possession of his mortal soul. Yeah, that all scanned. Well, uh, but look at this. Little mistake here. It looks like you sold your soul to Stan, not Satan. Huh. Yeah. Well, there, there's a number there. Would you mind calling it, please? Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Wow. Yeah, see, this, this isn't even the area code for hell. So. Uh, yeah. Yellow, Stan Johnson. Ah, see, there you go. Hi, uh, Stan, this is uh, Mike Nelson. You're not by any chance the devil, are you? Uh, nope. I'm a CPA and investment consultant. Damn. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm calling on behalf of Crow T. Robot. 
Oh, right. Little skinny gold guy, kind of bug-eyed, sure. Yeah, that's the guy. Hey, did you buy his soul? Yes, I did. I, I manage a well-balanced portfolio of souls. They can be very high yield. I'm, um, 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 Stan, this is Crow. Uh, when can I get my soul back? Is that possible, or? Oh, I'm sorry. I resold your soul already to Citicorp in a big block of souls. Oh, man, I am going to have to make so many phone calls to get my soul back. Oh, man. Oh, and Pearl's babysitter's calling. Hello? Be with you in a minute. Almost finished story time. Then everyone goes to sleep. Uh, can I come out now? Shush, bad dog. Go to sleep. Okay. Now where was I, Brian? Oh, uh, the tall fellow was repeatedly refusing to ingest green eggs and ham. The short fellow was bizarrely insistent upon it. Yes, very good. I will not eat them in a plane. Will not eat them on a train. On a train, right. You know, why doesn't he just leave him alone? He has pointedly made his refusal to eat this dish clear. The mere hypothetical changing of a location is irrelevant and tedious. And, and that Sam I am is so bloody repetitive I could scream. Our real little cranky Brian. No, madam, I am overtired. So I shall turn in now. So if you wouldn't mind, please, my blankie. My nookie and my friend. Ah, thank you kindly. Good morrow to you. Nighty night. Well, now me. Uh, I definitely eat them on a train. There's Quiet, no doubt no about bark. that. No bark. Delicious on a train, but a plane. I'd have to think about a plane. Maybe substitute bacon for ham. That sounds kind of nice, and we could have a nice. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> No bark. Oh, I'm not barking. I was just talking. Oh, I'm commenting on the story. There's no barking involved at all. No, no bark. Oh, no, I'm not sure you see my point here. It's like this. Rather than barking, as you assumed, I was actually... Oh, oh come on. It's, I'm talking about... Oh, no. Oh, no bark. Oh, I'm not barking. Oh, bad dog. Articulating. Oh, deep. Oh, oh, bad dog. Oh, stop Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Hey. You're probably wondering what's up with Crow here. Well, I'll let him explain. Go ahead. Explain what? Oh yeah, the, the, the nest. Um, yeah, it turns out that the top of my head provides a perfect nesting site for the rare Spix's macaw. I, I've known that for some time, but this is the first year I've had an actual brooding mother. See, what I don't get is how you could not notice them building a nest on the top of your head. Well, I was aware of some activity, Mike, but, you know, it's the top of my head. I suppose you know every detail at all times of everything happening at the top of your head? I guess not. Yeah. When see. does that one hatch, anyway? Uh, well, pretty soon, Mike. It's been three weeks, and to tell the truth, I'll be a little relieved. The Spix's macaw is not a small bird. <laughs> so when the mother's actually here, sitting on my head with that brooding spot all... Pink and warm, there's no feathers. It's just, whoa, whoa, here she comes again. <sighs> Damn, another one. Great, we'll be right back. <sighs> my, Mike, would you mind doing this one? I, I feel like I've done my part for the Spix's macaw. Well, you're the one with a perfect nesting site, Head. <sighs> back, get away, you rabble. Cease and desist. Back, I say. Uh, okay then, you mongrels. <laughs> Eat it! Uh, Crow, everything all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I had a little weasel problem there, Mike. They were trying to steal my poor little eggs. Aww. You know, I never knew weasels could be such weasels. <laughs> Pearl's goons are calling yellow. What, you want a little more? No. All right, Sporto, this time you are one dead monkey. One, two, three, go! Oh! Gosh! All right, best out of 99, then. <laughs> oh, hello, disturbingly unhairy ones. <laughs> the lawgiver is still gone. Yay! 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 Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a shame. Doggone it. Really. But stay tuned for this important message from her. Okay, rubber arms, Petra. Yes. Accessing satellite relay to Los Angeles. 
Come in, Pearl. Pearl, come in. Come in, Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, come in. Can you read me, Pearl? Brainiac. Yeah, hi everyone. I flew the van out here to LA to try and find some more movies to torture you guys with. Thought I'd consult an expert, so I took and went and gone and got this guy here from Entertainment Tonight. Uh, hello, Mike. Hello, small robots. How can I help? Leonard Malton? Pearl, you are connected. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Malton. What do you make of the stylistic resurgence of Italian neorealist filmmaking in the vein of De Sica's Umberto D? Yeah, uh, Malton, is it true that they're working on yet another remake of The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Stop bugging Mr. Siskel with questions. Uh, Malton. He's helping me. So, what do you recommend, Roger? Uh, Leonard. Uh, I'd highly recommend the 1961 monster movie Gorgo. It's sort of a British take on the Godzilla thing. Uh, Mr. Malton, is, is Gorgo really that bad? I mean, you're not really going to hurt us, uh, are you? Well, that's a matter of opinion, Mike. Now, I actually like Gorgo, but when we reviewed it for my number one best-selling movie and video guide, it put two of my assistant editors into intensive care. So who knows? Uh, besides, Pearl promised me a light lunch at Sky Bar. No, I said one appetizer only, Ebert. Malton. Okay, Mr. Malton Ebert, don't push your luck or it's a small decaf at Starbucks. Uh, uh, Brain guy. Uh, uh, oh, yes, Pearl. Uh, do you mind? Please. Not at all. Okay. And go. 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 Hey, Crow, your eggs are gone. Ah, uh, yeah, they got taken away by Egg Protective Services. Huh. Well, I accidentally made an omelet in front of them and kind of spooked them. Yeah, well, I hope you get to visit. Oh, Don't we go. got movie side! Thank you, Malton! <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Diana Rigg. Inspired by the guy in today's movie who looks kind of like Samuel Beckett, we present to you a tragic comedy in one act. Waiting for Gorgo. Thank you, won't we? Nothing to be done. I'm beginning to come round to that opinion. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gorgo. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, and there he is! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Guess what I got? The William Sylvester version of Trivial Pursuit. William Sylvester. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to get the baby boomer version of the William Sylvester version of Trivial Pursuit, but I just thought the basic version would be, you know, a lot more fun. What color do you want? Uh, well, let me answer that, Mike, by asking you who the hell is William Sylvester? <laughs> Come on. He's the guy in today's movie. Huh. I'm not recalling any guy in today's movie. Oh, come on, he was the main guy in today's movie. Plus, he was in Riding with Death and Devil Doll, plus 2001 A Space Odyssey, plus huh. a whole bunch of other... Oh, oh, I see what you guys are doing. I see, you're trying to learn all about William Sylvester so you can beat me at the William Sylvester version of Trivial Pursuit. Well, it ain't gonna happen. You can go first, though, Crow. I don't want to. There you go. Okay, you have history of William Sylvester. <sighs> uh, okay, and... Oh. 
Oh man, this is so easy. In 2001 A Space Odyssey, what character did William Sylvester play? I don't know. What do you mean you don't? Haywood Floyd, Haywood Floyd, what everybody yeah, knows Haywood that. Floyd. Okay, fine, your turn, Servo. Oh, goody. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this, I, oh, this is incredible. In the movie Gorgo, who played the character of Sam? I don't know. What do you mean? It was William Sylvester. It was William Sylvester. We're watching the movie today. Come on, you guys. Huh. You're not Gorgo. even trying. It, it's like you're trying to sabotage my William Sylvester version of Trivial Pursuit. Well, we are, Mike. We patently don't care about William Sylvester. Not a bit. So you're conceding. <sighs> Yes, we can see. Yes. yes, 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 yes. I know huh. more about William Sylvester than you do, or you. Yes, yes. Sad, I'm really. the king, William Sylvester. Woo -hoo. Oh, movie sign. Oh. Well, hey, what's this? Looks like the nanites made themselves a little circus. Oh, they must have been watching the movie, the little Dickenses. Well, <laughs> let's see. Hello, Nanites. What's going on down there? Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, come to the spectacular Gargantuan Nanite Brothers and Dorkin combined avionic circus and carnival of soul. With Nate the Clown. Marvel at the spectacle of wild subcellular animals. With Nate the Clown. The thrill at the daring of the Nanitino family as they fly a full 50 microns above center ring. Nate the Clown. Well, that sounds great. How much does it cost? <laughs> I'm not done yet. Gasp! In horror at the largely ironic midway and squeal with delight at the antics of Nate the Clown! Hey! That's me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you sold me. How much? Only 25 cents! That's right, a quarter! Two bits, five nickels, one quadrant of a greenback! <laughs> Well, uh, I got a handful of quarters. You guys in? Are you bet. I want to see the ironic midway. Here you go, Pally. Yeah! Oh, horrors! The curse of the circus is upon us! Giant stones fall from the sky, and our cloud is dead! Oh, the microbes are on the loose! The amoebas are on the rampage! Run! Oh, sorry. I, I was just tossing one on. Oh, no! Here comes another! The circus is destroyed! <sighs> Maybe we should go to the zoo instead. That's a good idea. We'll be right back. Clown killer. Maybe. Oh dear, 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 dear. What are we whoa, 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 Mike, little help here, please? Yo. Yeah, Mike, slight problem here. Yeah, we went and pre-sold a series of calendars featuring the hunks and babes of the hit film Gorgo. Yeah, sold it to a New Jersey firm. Rough-looking guys in dark late model cars. Ah, uh, the mob. Right, the mob. The mob, the mob right. exactly. Well, we filled out our hunk calendar with that William Frawley guy you seem to like so much. <laughs> we had no idea there wouldn't be a single woman in the whole movie. Right, mm -hmm. now there's the problem. Save our lives. Okay, save your life, save your life. Uh, well, there are women in the film, I know yeah. that. I'm just not sure they have the sizzle for your mob calendar. Hell, we'll take what we can get here. Sure. Uh, all right, well, Cambot, let's have a look at the monitor there. If I'm not mistaken, when the two uh, guys are getting off the boat in Ireland, I believe there was a woman standing right there. Can we look at oh, that? I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, hey. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure she's featured in the film, however. And not a problem. We airbrush out any blemishes, clip her out, and put her on the hood of a Lamborghini. We got Miss July. Right. Next. Oh, okay. Uh, Gorgo's chasing people through the streets. Bunch of crowd scenes there. I think there's a woman there. Cambot, can we fast forward to that? Let's look Wait, around what? there. What? No. no. Yeah. Ah, yes. There, there Perfect. Change yeah. her hair, put her in front of a fireplace at a rugged lodge. We got a bestseller. ka -ching. <laughs> Guys are on your way. Okay, well, back to you, Leonard Malton. Why aren't they suffering? What's the deal, Leo? I don't understand it. In many cases, Gorgo has been known to induce hallucinations and mild drooling at the very least. Well, you better start understanding. I want the worst movie ever made, and I want it now, Rex Reed. Oh, just hold your water. Let me see. I want to hurt him as much as you do. It's got to be something really bad. Worst movie. I would think of something with Mickey Rourke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're talking. Cross-reference that with Eric Roberts, and we're in business. I think I you're dead, favorite. Nelson. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, using my new updated movie and video guide, we'll find the worst movie ever, and then it's curtains for you. What did you say your name was? Uh, Malton. Leonard Malton. I like you, Leonard. 
Hi everyone, Crow Servo, glad you're here. Just Hi. got this uh, notice from Gypsy. Apparently she's got to work on the main switching unit. Huh. I don't know. So in a couple of minutes, the power's gonna go down. Yes! <laughs> hey, 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 I know what you're thinking and no looting this time, you understand? <laughs> All right, what'd you loot? Well, I broke into my own room and managed to get away with my TV. <laughs> I'll never miss it. Okay, Tom? Ah, well, I threw a mannequin through your window, Mike. And, and wait, 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 wait. Where'd you get a mannequin? Well, I keep one for power outages. Anyway, threw it through your window and managed to get away with uh, your recycling here. Hmm. I'm not a very good looter, am I? No, no, you're not. No. Uh, we'll be right back. If it goes out again, I'm grabbing my blender. All right, what'd you loot now? Loot? <laughs> no, no looting. I just accidentally dropped an anvil into your box of commemorative plates. Oh, hey, look, Pearl's calling. Wanna get that? And then I will rule the world. <laughs> that needs a little background, doesn't it? The deal is, Smells, and I'm going to rule the world, but you don't rule the world by going at it all scattershot. Nope. Slow and steady wins the race, old nut. So, I'm going to rule the world, but I'm going to do it one person at a time. <laughs> now, who's first? Here's in here. Hey, Mr. Todd Gunderson, ma'am. Ah, uh, Gunderson, eh? Uh, Todd's fine. Todd, Todd, good. Well, Todd, what do you say? Can I rule you? Can I, huh? Can I? Rule me? Uh, no. Please? No. Mm. What if I said I'd kill you if you didn't let me? Um, I'm sorry. I, I really don't feel that threatened. Get out of here. Next. Hey, Mr. Tom Servo, ma'am. Hey, guys, here I am. <laughs> hey, glad to help. <laughs> Servo? Yep, it's me. <laughs> Brain Guy brought me down. My name was next on the list. Totally random. It's weird. So, Tom Servo, Yo. what do you say? Can, uh, uh, what, what, what? Don't I know you from somewhere? It could be. I do get around. <laughs> the Tom Jones Theater in Branson, Missouri. You tried to steal my purse and I beat <laughs> no, you. No, with no, no, no. Must have been some other lucky guy. <laughs> well, it's not important. Yeah. Can I rule you? Sorry, baby. Nobody rules the Tom Monster. Damn, your defenses are impenetrable. Brain guy, send Mike the movie while I figure out this whole world ruling thing. Certainly. Mike, your movie today is, if one can measure these things, the worst thing to ever come out of Canada. Oh. It's called The Final Sacrifice. Uh, Ma'am, may I have the robot? Oh, yes. They need him for the movie. So long, toots. Take me up, Curly. Fuck <laughs> Curly. Why, I never... Bye, Here I am, guys. Uh, guys? We're in the theater. Go! Oh. Come on, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the drunk guy says, I can't help being an idiot. I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They're so pathetic, Mike. Exactly. Huh? Enough. There's been too much Canada bashing for far too long. I say no more. Don't you mean no more, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, man. They are so stupid. Stop it now. Instead, let us offer our northern brothers and sisters this song of tribute. Oh, I wish I was back in old Canada, a land which I never shall lampoon. How I pine for the ice-covering Lake Manitoba and the beauty that is Saskatoon. 
Wilson. I got one. Oh, I wish I was stuck in the hills of Alberta drinking beer with some big dumb guy trapping fur. Hey. As he scraped and he chiseled all the moose dung off his boots, I would learn that he's the prime minister. Oh, stop that. Oh, I wish I was in the land that gave us Peter Jennings, Alanis Morissette, Mike Myers, too. Yeah. No, I take that back. I wouldn't go there even if you paid me. Oh, Canada, you are a place I must eschew. Now, this is not in the spirit that I intended. Oh, come on. Give in. I mean, after all, they gave us Ed the Sock really? and Rush. Yeah, what are you defending? They're such fiends. Okay, I'll try. All right, good go. man. Oh, I wish I was blowing up Prince Edward Island and going on to bomb Ontario. <laughs> the destruction of Canada and all of its culture is by far my favorite scenario. Okay, I mean, that's a little strong. You no, no you were down. right, Mike. This is much more fun. Just where the hell does Canada get off sharing a border with countries far superior to it? Yikes. Why, you lousy, stinking, francophonic, bacon-loving bastards? Your country's just a giant piece of... Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 I think we've got to jam out. Okay, thanks. All right. I have no sense of proportion. I'm a disgrace to my uniform. Uh, no, that's, that's okay. Now, calm down. Now, we mustn't hate, mustn't hate. At least so overtly. <laughs> exactly right. Must disguise our hate just a little. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back. It's okay now, Dudley. Pardonnez-moi. Pardonnez-moi. Bad news, losers. We won't be in today because Bobo ate a bad can of Canadian bacon and he came down with hockey hair and now we've all got it. Uh, lady? Lady? Can I watch Power Rangers? <laughs> well, gee, Pearl, uh, that's too bad. I, I guess that means it's contagious? Oh, I'm sure you guys will be fine. I, I mean, we live with the apes, so when he gets hockey hair, we all get hockey hair. Don't worry. <laughs> the, 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 the doctor says I have to have more whoppers, Brad, malted milk balls. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, duff for crying. It's an airborne virus. Sheesh. Mike, what's your deal? How come you don't have it? Yeah. Oh, I, I had it once already. From uh, 1982 to 1992. Once Ooh. you get it once, you can't get it again. Huh. Oh, no. You guys got it too, huh? Well, the best thing is to just let it run its course. Well, I think it's great. I've never felt so masculine. I feel like Guy Lafleur. <laughs> it's time for my hourly Ben and Jerry's. Um, 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 um. Oh. Huh. I have this intense craving for Zubas. Yeah. Oh, movie get time. Oh, 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 movie oh, Sherry. Sunday. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Nope, nope, sorry, Curl, but from everything I've read here, there's nothing we can do about hockey here. Duh. We just have to get plenty of rest in hockey and let it take care of itself. All right. Whoa, yeah, Mike! Ah, sheesh. Hey, guys. Mike, what happened to you? Oh, I'm just seeing what it's like to smoke a pipe. No, 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 it's your hair. It's like, uh, it's... Look. Ah! Whoa! Holy cow! Don't panic now, Mike. You've simply got a case of uh, grizzled old prospector syndrome. Whoa, it's not man. surprising. It is associated with immunity to hockey here. Yeah, it may not even be a full-blown infection, uh, unless you've been saying uh, consarnet a lot. Nope, consarnet can't. Oh, oh dag, dag, nabbit, oh, dag. Oh, well, fiddlesticks. Dag. Little varmints. I guess I am horn swoggled. Oh. Well, what do you reckon I should do about it? Well, let's see. Uh, 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 nothing to do, Mike. You just gotta let it run its course. Yeah, you'll want to pan for gold, probably. You'll probably buy a mule. Yeah. All right, well, wonder how I picked it up. Well, let's see. Uh, you been kissing any prospectors? Nope. Hold on, wait a minute. No, no, I haven't. No. Oh. No, you know what? That was a surly truck farmer. Darn fine kisser, though. <laughs> <laughs> you old coot, huh? <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> And then it's hello, Mike. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Nice flowers. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you guys didn't take and go and start a cult, did you? <coughs> a cult? A, a cult? No, of course not. That is the most absurd thing. Well, yeah, we did. Yeah, you want to join? 
No, I don't want to join. You'll probably be sacrificing black pullets and wearing goat heads and things. Well, you know, we thought about all that, but it just seemed like a lot of work. Actually, we just like to bake muffins. Lots of different kinds. Yeah, then we get together at each other's houses and watch Allie McBeal. Or one of our collection of Taped Sisters episodes. Yeah, we're kind of a muffiny, Callista Flockhart, Swoozy Kurtz kind of cult. Yeah. Uh, um, Mike? Oh, boy. I think we freaked him out. Whoa. Okay, Mike, we strip to the waist, worship an evil emanation, and lop people's heads off for fun. Is that less weird? Uh, yeah, that's a little easier to take. Good. Oh, uh, Pearl's calling. Ah, Nelson, so glad we could join you. For you see, I am about to take a giant step forward in my program to take over the world one person at a time. After hours of tough negotiation, I am about to possess the mind the soul, the very will of this man here. What was your name again? Carl. All right, Carl. You've cowered at my threats. You've relished my rewards. You've eaten me out of house and home. Now sign. Certainly, my lead. Hang on, let me get this. Yeah. Really? How much? Sounds good, thanks. I'm sorry, lady. I was just taken over by the Travelers Group. Gotta run. Bye. Monkey. Whitey. I guess the Mrs. Mr. Nice Guy approach just ain't my style. <laughs> so very shortly now, Nelson, I will rule Carl. On time, you have to answer to the Travelers Group. Give me back my food. No. Oh, oh. Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. My name is Mike Nelson, or it used to be. You see, until recently I was just like you. I believed that everything that was taught me was right and everything was as it seemed. And then one day I found myself pursued by agents of a secret government project who basically wiped out every shred of evidence that I ever existed. They took everything, my identity, my life. Now I'm on the run, never knowing when I'll be caught or where my enemies will turn up. But they should know. I will do anything to get back what is mine. Hey, Mike! Mike! Mike. Mike. Yeah? We found your wallet. It was yeah. in your room. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about your identity's there. You can relax. Oh, I guess I didn't have to do very much at all to get back what's mine. No, no. you weren't telling them about the secret government conspiracy, were you? Well, my wallet was missing. <laughs> now, just... Folks, listen, pay no attention to this guy. Everything is exactly as it seems. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do I know this wallet is mine? It is. Look, same picture of Mark Spitz, even. Oh, good. <laughs> Sad, really. Gotta say, it's good to have the old identity back. Ah! What? Ah, what? Ah, what? I mean, what? They, took, what? they took my identity, everything no, I ever... Oh, wait, it's right here. Sorry. <sighs> oh, Mrs. Forrester's calling. And you want to hang on to an identity like that, huh? Gee. Aloha! Hello. Welcome aboard! Hello. Welcome! Aloha! <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> bo, 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 bo. I think the idea is to distribute them one by one, and then let the guests... Oh, oh I get it. Silly me. Hello! Aloha! Hello. Welcome! Idiot! Hello. Uh, let me show you to a cabin. Hello. Ow. Son of Nell, listen. Our phone number accidentally got printed in an ad for a cruise ship deal. Bobo took 2,500 reservations before he told me. But the money's so sweet, I decided to keep it. Then we left port before they could get on. <laughs> well, except for those two early nerds. But <laughs> we left 2,498 suckers ashore. <laughs> <laughs> but you live in a castle, so... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay, we gotta give them the whole QE2 deal, so we need ice sculptures for the buffet table. Hey, hey, Clorox face, send them the raw materials. Aye, aye, Shut sir. up and just do it. Right. Boy. Uh, what? Huh? Anna and I would like to see the upper deck now. Oh, sure, but, oh, the seas are too rough right now. Oh, yes, it's Whoa! Whoa! Feel Whoa! that? Oh, too rough to feed you, even. <laughs> but still, the smell of that salt air. <laughs> oh, she's getting sick, Norm. <laughs> Mrs. Dash air, actually. 
Hey, lawgiver, it's not too rough to feed me, is it? I mean, it's not too rough to feed oh, oh, Okay, let's see what oh, you got. Oh, oh. Well, now, I made a sort of environmental sculpture with my eyes, setting it in a surrounding of gin and tonic, aesthetically pleasing and vara vara refreshing. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I tried to, to weld mine, and, uh... Yeah, you did. Yeah. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I give you Michelangelo's David. Wow, Crow, bigger than the original, and out of four ice cubes? I'm just efficient, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I could have uh, could have done that, I guess. But I, I was uh, trying to weld mine. Right, Mike. You made that clear. <sighs> and now it's time for your on-deck movie to be held below decks today because of the aforementioned rough seas. No! No! It's called Devilfish, and it features many nautical themes and many Italians pretending to be Floridians. Mike and Bob also enjoy Rain Pan Senate. <laughs> He just needs a little off the cast. Oh, stop it! Good gravy, man. Don't you ever learn? Sorry. Oh, we got movie signs. Oh, boy. No accumulated knowledge at all. You know, dolphins are really smart, aren't they? Mm. Oh, yeah, totally. Smart as you please. Oh, yeah, the way they jump for things yeah. and click and buzz to kind <laughs> of talk and yeah. flip over and, um... Swim, there's that, and uh, eat fish, yeah, other things, I guess. You know, dolphins are really dumb, aren't they? <laughs> Hell, I don't know anymore. Well, what's with dolphins anyway, you guys? Are they smart or are they dumb? Well, uh, well let's find out. You oh. know, I have SeaWorld on my speed dial. Hey, hey let's just call one. Yeah. It's a great day at SeaWorld. How may I direct your call? Hi, uh, yeah, Blowy the dolphin, please. I'll connect you. Blowy? Yeah, there's always a Blowy. <laughs> Hi, uh, Blowy, Mike Nelson here. Yeah, uh, say, we have a rather delicate question for you. So are you guys just stupid, or what's going on anyway? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're so smart, how come you don't speak English or play the drums? Good point. Yeah, hello, that's your answer to everything, pal. Well, listen up, Flipper. Uh, blowy. Uh, yeah, Blowy, whatever. Hey, uh, you know, you. everyone thinks you're Einstein or something. Well, you think you're just an evolutionary cul-de-sac. Couldn't swim your way out of a hot tub. What do you think of them sardines? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, tell it to Fa, pal. Or better yet, why don't you talk to me? Come on up here. Let your flippers do the talking, because I am standing here, man. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Come on. Bring Come it on. on. Whoa. 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 Alarm! A dolphin warship has just decloaked off the port bow. Uh, uh, Cam, by, give me rocket number nine. Its propulsion and weapon system are advanced far beyond our understanding. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Blowy. Uh, we're sorry about everything. Yeah, we uh, we didn't understand. So again, sorry, sorry. Take it all back. Sorry, 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 sorry about that. Bye. You. <sighs> you know, dolphins are really smart. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> yeah, really smart, but uh, touchy. Yeah. We'll be right back. Man, say the slightest <laughs> thing. And that was the day I met Dick Meeker. Aww. Mm. That's nice. You guys, we got a call from this weird lady. Real mean, but kind of stupid. Hmm. A lot of dishwater blonde hair. Oh, Mrs. Forrester. That's who it was. Yeah. Anyway, she's going to be sending an electrician up here to do some stuff. Thanks, Chips. OK. Hey, an electrician. So? Oh, come on, everybody knows about electricians. Um, Mike, just because the movie vaguely implies that some electricians may be lacking in something... Hey, Mike, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be uh, uh, installing some uh, grounded outlets along the baseboard oh, back okay. there. So. Great, we need those, so thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, Mike. Yeah, uh, so anyway, you should be able to run your uh, dehumidifier off the wall. Oh, well. great, I'm like, you know what, I just want to warn you, you got a little spot right there. Oh, here. boy. Sure. Right? Yeah, okay. It's oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at this, you guys. You see, I know how to use the phone because I'm an electrician. Electrician is obvious. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mike, Dolphin Warbird uncloaking off the port. Wow. Oh, God. Okay, bud, give me rocket number nine. What in blazes is going on? I tell you, after this movie came out, we electricians started having a lot of trouble. Oh, oh. 
So we formed a mutual defense back with the dolphin. Are they gonna kill us? Yeah, unless your mouthy friend here apologizes. Yeah, sure. Mike. Mike. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> apologizes nicely. Okay, okay, I'm very sorry. I apologize to all electricians. I realize now that uh, electricians provide a valuable service and possess a level of technical knowledge far beyond anything I could ever grasp. God bless electricians. Great, I'll be uh, getting back to work then. Okay, I am sorry. <laughs> hey, idiot, we got movie signs. Which we could never have without electricians. Oh, so shut up. What? What's that cam bot? What? Look at ourselves on the monitor, boy? Okay. Why, we all huh. look vaguely Italian. Yeah, mm -hmm. Vaguely. Better one or better two? Yeah, vaguely Italian, Mike, but it's not good enough. See, our guests were enjoying Devilfish, but then having you guys pop in periodically and do whatever it is you do up there, well, it kind of confused him. So I'm trying this special image and sound filter on the projector to make you guys look all Italian-y, like the actors in the movie. It'll ease the transition for them and make you less noticeable, which is good. And you won't feel a thing. Uh, okay, go a level up. Okay. Yeah. Pearl, what do you do this for? I don't know, Mikey. I kind of like it look. I can't wait to go to the beach and wear a tiny G-string and a gold chain. You're uh, turning us into broad stereotypes. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but these adjustments are very delicate. Here, here, here let me try Don't get your hand. No, look out. Too much. No, look out. Oh, no. Ah, ah. Hey, gondola rider for you and the lady, senor monkey. Oh, why are you breaking your mama's heart? Manja, manja! Hey, a pearl, turn it off. You make us such broad caricatures. Oh, son of me. Ah, we got a commercial side. Anthony! Anthony! Well, anyway, Mike, I think WOI was on the right track, attempting to raise profits by combining a shark and an octopus. I just think it may have been the wrong combination. I mean, what about combining a poodle and a fly? No, 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 not quite yet. Uh, what about a snail and a parrot? Hmm, no, it's closer, but not there. Um, what about you, sir? But what would you combine? Who, me? Well, I think I'll combine a lick and a me and ship it right over to you. Hey, what? now, come on, well, now. Come on. What the heck does he care anyway? Well, I just think that was completely uncalled for. Ridiculous. Why does anybody care no, about I'm this just trying movie to anyway. figure out the movie. I mean, what... Hey, Nelson Luz Della, we almost got these bass ackwards chicken fried idiots into thinking this is a cruise ship. Now we just have to get through the captain's dinner. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> As captain of this castle, oh, and by castle I mean ship, <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to my table. Waiter, if you'd serve the crap, please. Your scallops in herbed butter, crushed and toasted and served with tiny blue marshmallows, madam. Uh, Captain, when will we be allowed up on deck? Captain? Captain? Oh, quit hitting me! Well, answer the nice... <laughs> Will there be anything else? Uh, no. no. We're good. good. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. As you can see, there's been some changes in Tom. It's a little difficult to explain. Oh, so not I'll... difficult at all, Mike. <laughs> Acting on some ancient urge imprinted in my very genes, a few days ago I wriggled my way onto a twig and began squeezing a thin stream of liquid from my spinneret, which I turned into a soft button of silk. Then, using wave-like movements of my body, I rolled my skin off toward my rear, exposing the soft front parts of the pupa, okay, which okay, already okay, formed... Okay, okay, all right. The point is... I'm a butterfly, and a glorious one at that. <laughs> right, so the Tom Servo we've all known and loved... Oh, nothing but a larva, Mike, and it was a surprise to me, too. Hell, I didn't even know I had a spinneret until I began squeezing that thin stream of liquid, you know? Okay, 
enough with the thin stream. Now the colorings, is that a camouflage of some sort? Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, I blend in only with myself, Mike. Makes me incredibly susceptible to being eaten by a barn swallow. I tend to survive only a day or two. Yeah, well, until that happens, I whipped up a little nectar for you. Here you go. Oh, oh boy. Mm. Mm. Man. Mm. Oh. <laughs> hey, my proboscis doubles as a party favor. <laughs> yeah, neat. We'll be right back. Mm, give me some. Mm, mm, mm. That's good nectar. Mm. Hey, Servo, what happened to your... Uh... I'm still a beautiful butterfly, Mike. I've had a few unfortunate happenstances, such as my wings being torn off in an industrial accident. Well, that depressed me, so I ate a lot of mallow mars and gained all the weight back. But I was soon feeling better and went back to work. But alas, someone turned on the extruder while I was cleaning it, and my bottom two pairs of delicate butterfly legs were ripped from me. Again depressed, I hit the pecan sandies, hard, and gained my remaining weight back in my remaining arms. My arms, by now in a metabolic frenzy, started to leach fats from my antennae, which made them so thin as to be invisible. But I am still a beautiful butterfly, Mike, and uh, butterflies are free to fly. Fly away. Hi away. Bye-bye. Ooh. Well, that makes sense. Uh, and I still have my proboscis. Ah, great. Oh, uh, Pearl's calling. Hmm? And it seems urgent. Hmm. Yes, Mrs. Forrester. Hmm? Have your penguin costumes on yet? We said we would meet here at 10 o'clock with our penguin costumes on already. Hurry up and get them on. We haven't much time. Hurry! Hey, it's not our fault. It's uh it's Mike's. Yeah, why didn't you tell us, Mike? Yeah, that's great. Mike didn't tell us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't even have left us a note on the refrigerator door. I Mark. We don't have a refrigerator. Exactly, Mike. We don't have a refrigerator because you don't make enough money to get one because your job stinks because you never stayed in school. Because you were too lazy to get proper post-secondary school training. So we have to suffer for it. Exactly. Well, That's why it's your fault we don't have our costumes on. Mike's fault. Stop talking nonsense. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Before it's too late. In the name of all that is good and decent, gentlemen, put on your penguin costumes. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Pearl. These uh, these old costumes were uh, all we could come up with. Bah. Sorry. Uh, I think we're I think we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nelson, you guys are total rubes. <laughs> I can't believe they fell for it. <laughs> I've never met anyone as gullible as you, poor dope. <laughs> <laughs> to be pulled in by such a simple thing like this. All we had to do was call 53 costume shops to find one that had three penguin costumes, reserve them eight months in advance with a huge cash deposit, then pay the balance of $899 per costume to rent them for an hour, then put them on, then wait till you guys woke up and finished breakfast, then call you and make believe we had set an appointment up with you to wear penguin costumes, and then you fell for it! It was so simple! Actually, it was a titch pathetic of us, I'm afraid. It was. Yes. Well, well you guys should be even more humiliated. Nelson... You have a dog costume on. Ha ha ha! You all have ridiculous looking penguin costumes on. Yeah. And you're out a lot of money and time. Yeah. Burn you, man! <laughs> <laughs> I hereby decree that you are more burned than us. Your humiliation is at least 1% higher. We win. <laughs> to celebrate, we're sending you a horrible, smelly movie. It's called The Screaming Skull. Eat it. We're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do they look stupid. Yeah, at least we maintained our dignity. Yep. Whoa, oh, movie time! time. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Mother, what should we do with our naughty miscreants? I think we should give them milk and cookies. Hooray! Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Mike. Uh, you're just in time to enter our wonderful clay-based world of whimsy and wonder. Yeah, where under the surface lurks a rat's nest of seething violence and hatred. <laughs> Whee! Hooray. Oh, neat. Uh, 
You want to unpack that for me? I uh, sure, Mike. Welcome to the land of our two little clay figures, Bolus and Horseflop. Oh, what do they do? Well, mostly they gather lint, hair, and animal dander. But they share an impassioned hatred of robots. Yeah. Uh, move the robots up there, will you, Mike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, In sure. this colorful story, our two pranksters hire some well-meaning, unsuspecting robots who want nothing more than to serve humanity to the best of their abilities. And the two wretched lumps of filth carry out a campaign of terror and savagery on the handsome, helpful robots. Yeah. Okay, I think I see where you're going with this, you guys. Good, you work the lumps, we'll do the voices. Oh, guys, come on, I know you're hurting. Please, Mike, just work the lumps. Okay, all right, fine. Okay, now, Mike, make the lumps, uh, smash the robots. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. Okay, go ahead, come on, smash Crow, the robots. Come on, smash don't her. put yourself through this. No, no, Mike, this is what happens in the real world. Horrid <laughs> <laughs> lumps of discharge destroy beautiful innocent robots with impunity, <laughs> <laughs> laughing all the way. <laughs> you guys, you guys, calm down. I'll tell you what, I'll make a note to Pearl to go easy on the Gumby shorts, all right? Thank you, Mike. Dear Pearl, please go easy on the Gumby shorts. Oh, can you get some dizzy grizzlies there, Mike? We need them for the trauma we're experiencing. Oh. Get dizzy grizzlies for trauma. Their experience. We'll be right back. Come on, come on. Soon you'll be munching dizzy grizzlies. Calm down. This is great. Hey guys, what's going on? Shh, shh, shh. Quiet, Mike. We're trying to scam a free coffin out of those morons who made today's film. Yeah, free coffin if you die of fright. <laughs> I'm gonna say I died of fright even though I haven't yet. Then I'll just sit back and yeah. wait for my free coffin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some film releasing companies are so stupid. <laughs> American International Pictures. Um, yeah, I, I died while watching your film Screaming Skull. <laughs> Shh, girl, no, you're gonna ruin it. Sorry, uh, sorry. I'd, I'd like to get my free coffin out of the deal, please. Okay, there should be a code number on that film. Can you read that off to me? Uh, code number? Code number? Uh, a three. Three. Yeah. Um, yeah. three? Okay, that's a stock reorder number. The number I need begins with an L and is followed by three digits. Okay, um, L333, three, 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 I guess. Good. Okay, is this Tom Servo? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have you listed as a viewer of Screaming Skull, cool. and you say you died during the viewing of this? Yeah, uh, well, no, well, my friend did. Yeah. Sir, yeah. please know how sorry we are for your loss. We'll try to make this as easy as possible. Which style of coffin would you like for your dear friend? The Imperial or the rest ever? Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Look, let's just forget the whole thing, okay? Sir, we... I know how hard this must be for you, but if you'll bear with us, we'll get through it. Oh Imperial or rest ever style? Uh, I don't know. Imperial, I guess. Satin or velvet lining? Hang up. Hang up. No, they've got my name. Hey, a lady, it looks like my friend is moving. I guess he's not dead. Why don't you just cancel that order for me? I don't understand. Your friend isn't dead? Uh, n no. I, I thought he was dead, but he's not. Well, look, he's up now. He's moving around a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, look, now he's in a triathlon. Yeah. Oh, boy, he's finishing second. It looks like he's going to be just fine. <laughs> well, the order's already gone through to shipping. You're going to have to receive it, return it, and pay shipping both ways. Okay, yeah, fine, fine. Goodbye. Bye. Hang up quick. Yeah. You know, you guys should try pulling pranks that don't involve lying about the dead. Oh, right, Mike. You come up with one, then. Oh, well, there's gotta be Movie one. sign! Oh, we can movie sign. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Okay, you set? You got the plan down? Well, I think so. I'm a skull. Yep. I sit here and be a skull. Right. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, and then to cap it all off, Mike walks in like a sap and he... Oh, wait, here he comes. <laughs> Ah. 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 Hey, ah. hey, Mike, what are you doing? Stop hitting me with those chips. Ow. Ow. Ah. Ah. Man. Oh, man, that guy is spooky, huh? Yeah, he was really <laughs> hitting me with those things. Yeah, I Ow. think he was really... Oh, no. Oh, no. Crow, what, look what, out. What, what, what is it? Mike, Mike, no. Mike, no. Mike, no. Mike, no. You're going to kill him. What are you doing, Mike? Mike, this is insane. What are you doing? Stop it now. Stop it. Mike, this kid... Oh, 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 is he gone? Yeah, I think so. I think he might be out of it. Oh, no, for God's oh. sake, Mike, no! Oh, what, are you, what has he got? What does he have? For God, Mike, uh, listen to me. Uh, listen to the sound of my voice, Mike. Uh, uh, Mike, no. What Mike, have? this is not a skull. This is Crow, Mike. This is Crow. Don't let him hit me. Do you understand me, Mike? Don't let him hit me. No, Mike, no, please. It's Crow. There, put it down. Oh, no, Mike, don't hit him with the driver. That's. Uh, hey, is that one of those big berthas there? Let me see that. Is that a 10.5 loft? And don't That's talk really to him about the big berth. Oh, sorry. Stop hitting me! Mike, no, Mike! Mike, no! It's a pro! It's a pro! Mike, stop! It's pro! It's pro! It's pro! It's pro! It's pro! 
It's crow. It's crow. It's crow. This is crow. This is crow. He was screaming. He's a skull. He was Yes. Screaming. Crow screamed. Get it? I screamed, Mike. It's Crow. It's all in fun. <laughs> Good time. Oh. Just me screaming. And now listen. Hi, uh, are you Tom Servo? Um, no. <laughs> well, I have a package here for uh, Tom Servo from Coffins, etc. Could you sign for it, please? No. Hey, 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 Servo, your coffin is here, you luck. No. Oh, hey, Tom, looks like your coffin finally arrived, huh? What? what? Oh, oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll sign for that there. I don't have to sign. <sighs> Boy, this looks like a great place to work. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks. You have yeah, a good one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mike. Now I'm just going to have to return the thing. It's really, they stick you for the shipping. It's like 750 bucks each way. Really? Ouch, huh? Boy, tell me about it. I had to max out your Optima card. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to get a lot of use out of that car. Oh, uh, yeah? Come on. Come on, Sunshine. <laughs> hey, there's an ape calling us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mike Crow, Servo, why aren't you in your monkey costumes? It's getting late, and you're supposed to be in your monkey costumes now. Because remember, we agreed this is the time when you should be in your monkey costumes at this time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> it's me, Bobo! <laughs> I'm kidding you! <laughs> I really had you going there for a while. You thought I was an ape! <laughs> I totally fried you losers! <laughs> Green guy, would you mind? Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, all right. <laughs> You guys got big! Oh, oh, what the? Ah! That's got it. All right, Jips, take it away. What happened to Crow there? Oh, we went outside to check the ship's gutters. The uh, derecho kicked up, and he got caught in a freak hailstorm. Well, sure, it is the season for him, huh? Yeah, about three grand in hail damage. Wow. Uh, it's going to be about three weeks in the shop, but Gyps gave me a loner crow, so. Cool. Hey, it's that old AMC crow that Gypsy's been tinkering with for years. Hey, guys, are there things that are happening? <coughs> well, he must be running rich. Yeah, well, I'll flip his air filter cover over, and uh, he should be fine. Hey, check it out. He's got a killer radio there. Oh, wow, cool. Right back. Later, we'll take stuff and do it, right? Shh. Where does the continuing of things which goes again? Man, he's getting worse. Yeah. Ew! Hey, <laughs> Crow, you look as good as new. Yeah, Gypsy covered me with a layer of true coat. Hey, uh, fake me. She needs you back at the shop. Some other guy's crow got trashed by a semi on I-95. <laughs> other guy's crow? To have said goodbye to things. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, Pearl S. Buck is calling. Cheap yeah. model. Yeah. Okay, Nelson. Time for your semi-annual checkup. So, how are you feeling these days? Doing very well these days, Pearl. Thank you. No physical pain anywhere, no mental anguish, no vague feelings of unease, poor sleep, crying, jags, hives, corns. No. Well, I was a bit upset a few days ago when I lost some shiny bottle caps that I quite like, but I found them, and ever since, it's been damn good times. I'm feeling very, very happy, and I've never felt healthier. I have a good life. Thank you. Why? What is wrong with you? I work my fingers to the bone trying to make you miserable, and you have the 
insensitivity to tell me you're happy? You know, Pearl, it might behoove you to reevaluate the experiment itself. As a wise old observer once said, to constantly repeat the same action and expect a variant reaction is surely a sign of madness. Oh. Then why do you keep mouthing off to me? You get the same reaction every time. That's point taken. Right? Okay, Nelson. As a scientist, I must determine for myself what is methodologically incorrect about this setup. I'm going in. You and me are going to trade places for today. Okay, brainstem, do it. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Now remember, Mike, if you try to escape while you're down here, each of these two creeps is willing, able, even anxious to kill you in many different horrible ways. But for the sake of scientific control, I want you to relentlessly browbeat them, just like I do. And I will act real bland up on the satellite, just like you. Going up, Chalky. <laughs> Hello, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Well, it looks like we got us a free ride. Yeah. Woo -hoo. No movie, no Mike. Cool. Party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not so fast, Tinker Toys. We got some cinema to watch. Hey, Brain Guy, send up Quest of the Delta Knights. That'll hurt me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl, that's movie sign, meaning you'll kill you if you don't hurry into the theater. Oh, delightful. I forget what a nice, subtle touch I have sometimes. Good for me. <laughs> we love you, Pearl. You are beautiful. You are beautiful, and you are wonderful, and we love you. Uh-huh. Fine. Whatever. You gave us a mint. <laughs> Will you stay with us forever and ever and ever? Nope. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm out. Yeah, I got nothing here. You cheating again, brain gag? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you guys, this is great. Just sitting around with a couple of men doing a little male bonding. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You are male, aren't you, brain gag? Oh, last time I checked, buddy boy. <laughs> hey, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you I am. Oh, boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, no, it's great, though. You know, be sitting here with a couple of man-sized men. You're not going to have to always be the big, clumsy lummox all the time. Down here, that's you, Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you I am. <laughs> that doesn't quite work, does it? Not a bit, no. Hey, uh, whip us up another bottle of single malt there, will you? Can do, Mike stuff. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry we terrorized you and tried to kill you earlier, Mike. Ah, stuff in your big hairball. <laughs> I mean, come on, kill me? Who hasn't tried? That's so true. That's so true. <laughs> oh, it's just great to be away from that lawgiver for a while. You know, she could be such a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me about it, man. You know, someday she's going to tell me to do something. I'm just going to look her right in the eyes and I'm yeah! going to... Can, can we help you? I'll rain horrible, fiery death on you later for those remarks. Uh -huh. Right now, I have the conclusions of my evaluation, and I need a break from these two chattering objects. What? Okay, Brain Butt, do it. No, you can't oh. go, Pearl. <laughs> no, please don't leave us. Please, oh. Mint Giver, we love you. Whoa. Weird. Yuck, weird. Hi, guys. You miss me? Yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower. Woof, man. Well, oh, yeah? Well, well, ask your girlfriend. She'll tell you that I... <laughs> yes. Hello, my friends. Today on... Satellite of Love Sunday morning. We are livid with proudness in presenting the Sir Thomas Neville Servo Consort of the Middle Ages, just after the plague singers. They will favor us today with an ancient air on the Delta Knights in a new setting by Sir Thomas Neville Servo himself. Let's enjoy. I sing of the glorious Delta Knights. They live the in Europe somewhere. Delta with Archimedes, they eat their and look pretty good in their kind of afraid to go out at night They don't get historical facts just right They hike up their cod pieces really tight They look pretty good in fake hair 
O oh, sweet Delta lady, am I, am I, all oh, fairer than the stars, the stars in the sky? I'm bold and body and all my body, I'm proud to declare, a oh, sweet Delta lady, I do what I please. I'm strong and I'm savvy and I've got these. I'd love to sing now, don't forget the trees. I'm proud to declare I like pie. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. I know I won't soon forget the cheese. Let us thank the Sir Thomas Neville Servo Oi, consort mate, of the Middle Ages. Let's have a one. Right. The... No, 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 no. Now I warned oh, you, please. Please, in, please, please, no, please, I, I, Sir Thomas. I no, I warned you about this song. Out, out of my studio. Out. I want all of you out. Please, we have movie signs today, my friend. <laughs> Come on, Gretzky. I'm stuff. bad. Come on. Ugh. Ouch! <laughs> hey! Sorry, sorry. Hey, 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 Mike! There's some sort of a spaceship approaching the port bow. Oh, uh, Kamba, give me rocket number 11, minus two. Cute. Wow! Well, Leonardo da Vinci, Mr. Da Vinci, it's, it's an honor to meet you. Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, call me Leo. And I call you... Oh, uh, Mike, and this is Tom and Mike. Crow. <laughs> Mike, Tom, Crow, is it? Crow? I like it, Crow. It's good. <laughs> wow, Leo, I have to say I'm amazed you're still alive. What, you've been talking to somebody? What's so amazing I'm still alive? I, I think he just means, you know, you were born such a long time ago. <laughs> What's a long time ago? You know, I watch my back, I stay alive. Right, yeah. So, you know, I have so many questions about your art, about your incredible inventions. Or where the movie's supposed to be taking place. Everybody's English, except maybe it's Greece. You're what, Italian, I assume? Yeah. What the heck is going on? Hey, it's a bad movie. Well, yeah, but... So don't worry about it. Anyway, the reason I come by, I wanted to tell you that this guy who's playing me in the movie yeah. is nothing like me. He, he's a mook. He's, he's a mama's boy who should be home with his mother and his little sisters. He's a... He's a mook, you know? Yeah, no, I agree, yeah. And I, and I want to tell you that I'm not a mook. That's why I come by. I should have called first, I'm sorry. No, that's, yeah, sorry. that's quite all right. Uh, <laughs> so you're still living in Vinci? Or? Yeah, no, I came over in 1907. I live in Queens now. Oh, huh. what are you doing now? You're still inventing things, or? Hey, I do what I do. I'm in business. You know, what, what do you do? I mean, Mike, who is this guy? He's asking me questions. He I, wants me to be dead. I didn't do You know, what do you need to know what I do? Maybe I come over there and show you what I do. No, oh, Leo, no, Leo, come on, come on. Leave the kid alone. Come on, he's all right. <laughs> okay, Mike, I got no beef with you. But you talk to him. No, I will, I will, I will. Listen, hey, Tom, listen up. I don't want you to ever ask Leonardo da Vinci what he does for a living, okay? Okay, I all right. won't. Yeah. At least for a time. Come right, this this way. Hey, look at Pearl. Yeah, yeah. Pearl. pipe down. Pearl. Hey. So now you wouldn't expect those kinds of losses, now, would you? What? No, no, that's a little unusual. Oh. Still, it could be a luminance oh. problem or mm -hmm. something we call a UP leakage, which can happen with some of your older films. Now, now see, that's what I thought, but this one was a fairly recent oh. film. Ah, that is unusual. Uh, Why don't we just take some readings? Oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, won't, won't be a minute. Hi, Pearl? Uh, oh, what's right, going Mike. On? Uh, this is Fred Eggleston from Facilitech. Uh, call me Egg. Oh, hi. Hi, Egg. Hi, Eggs. Hey. Howdy. <laughs> we're just trying to figure out why we're not getting the kind of pain levels we need from these movies. Why don't you just have a seat there, son? We'll be done for you, know what? Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Eggs. Th thanks, Eggs. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Pearl, why don't you grab the end of this oh. tape measure here? And sure. Hold it there. Hey, watch mm, out. Yeah. Watch it there. Yeah, that, that's Interesting. Sharp. Interesting. Oh. Well, why don't we just snap a chalk line so we know where we're starting from. Oh, sure. Pearl, if you could oh, hold sure. that there again. Oh. All right, hold it tight. Yep. yep. Watch it, Please egg. Be careful. Ow. Ow. Sorry about that. Mm. Won't be a minute. Ow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, Mr. Eggleston, now what? Well, you know, I was just thinking, uh, maybe you're getting some pain leakage around the edges of your viewing screen here. Mm. Huh. You replaced the weather stripping since you bought this ring? No, 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 I haven't. Was I supposed to? Well, most of our customers with pain-motivated yeah. subjects in a theater-type environment replace their weather stripping mm -hmm. every eight, ten years. Oh. If this is old, some of your pain could be escaping out the sides, and that could be your oh. problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, uh, excuse me, do we need to be hey, here? Hey, shut up. I am talking to Mr. Eggleston. Uh, eggs, please. Uh, certainly, eggs. Mike? Well, I'm just going to run a beat of cock here along the edge here. Oh, Let's take some more know. readings. <sighs> cock, then. <laughs> you know what, you guys want? Think about having a porchetta for dinner. Is that oh, be yeah. Would you please be quiet so that eggs can run a beat of cock? Sorry, man. Well, there you go. Let's see what kind of readings we get here. Mm, yeah, that helped a little, but it's still not what we're looking for. Mm -mm. I hate to say this, ma'am. What? 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 Uh oh. Well, you might want to consider a larger viewing area, which oh. would mean replacing this uh, support wall over here and raising mm. the whole ceiling up 24 oh. inches or so. Wow. <laughs> How much would that cost me? Oh, rough estimate, I'd say. 48 large. 48 large? Are <laughs> you kidding not me? It's cheap. Yeah, still, it seems like money well spent, Pearl. Yeah, pay the man now, Pearl, or pay him later. Yeah, you know, like they always say, Pearl, you can't make your subject suffer unless you spend a little money to enlarge the theater. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll show you pain and at a bargain, too. What the? Oh, ow! 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 ow. Oh. 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 That'll work, too. Come along, eggs. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wait, oh. she's going. Pearl, don't Pearl, go. Come back. We love you. <laughs> oh. Pearl. Pearl. Did that just happen? She hits oh. me. That means she loves me. <laughs> You're not Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, not Pearl. I, I mean, Mike. Hey, you want to look at my Pearl scrapbook with me? No, no, thanks. You know, I, I see Pearl enough in person. Thank you. You, you. you take that back, you, you, you big not Pearl. Hey, you know, you guys need to talk. It seems like you may be having some feelings about Pearl not being here you anymore. You just miss her, Mike. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, she gave us a mint once. A, a mint that had been at the bottom of her purse for a couple of years, and there was part of a tissue on it. And, and a hair. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's great that you guys have these wonderful memories to keep you going. Thank you. Oh, oh, she's calling, calling for me. Pearl, 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 she's calling for me. No, she's no, don't tell me first. Don't tell me first. Pearl. 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 Oh, oh, mama. Hey, kid, you gonna finish those? Let me give you a hand there, huh? Oh, hi, Nell Creep. Oh. Hi, bony gold creep and porcine red creep. Hey, get a load of this. The Delta Knights reserved this place for their annual pancake breakfast long before we even moved in. Would somebody please pass the syrup? A more cake of pan, huh? Oh, please. oh yeah, leave that on me there. Good, good. Keep them coming and we need more syrup over here. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Another successful pancake breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help, Bobo and Pearl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, didn't you guys used to roam the countryside defending the weak or some crap like that? Yeah, I think there's something about that in the bylaws. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Tom? You got that right, Frank. I don't know. We pretty much got it distilled down to just pancake breakfast now. In fact, everyone, I'd like to announce that thanks to this year's successful pancake breakfast, we've raised enough funds for next year's pancake breakfast. And in celebration, hard candy for everyone! Yeah!